<clears throat> Hello? Hello, my friends? Scatter. Hey, how's the, uh, how's the volume balance here? A bit quiet. All right, I got you, I got you. How about this? That better? Turn the volume up. Yes? Better? All right, all right. I'm just going to balance. Uh, I'm lowering the desktop audio. More bass. Yeah. This isn't the highest quality microphone. Hold on. Actually, I can do more bass. How is that? Is that any better? Does that sound better or worse or in the same? Oh, smooth, huh? Okay. All right. Way better. Oh, nice. All right. A little bit of live EQ. Good morning to you all. Hello. Welcome to the kitchen. How are we doing today? You like my floor textured shirt? I'm not, I'm wearing a different shirt now. Not void hair. Well, could be void hair. I do have hair. I know. It wasn't a sure thing, but now you know. Welcome to the kitchen. I teased Solaire shirt. Well, um, <laughs> leprechaun hair, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think um, dance already showed up. Mm-hmm. <sighs> dance. Dance, $1,233.21. Head banging to St. Jude. Did we already do a raffle? We got raffle going. Leonard, also $20. The oven beckons, I am ready, father. The sound seems too compressed. Which sound? My microphone? It's a little VB cranked. <laughs> Sounds fine to you. Okay, so this is obviously not, you know, a an optimal microphone setup. It's This is a really good microphone, though. It's really cool. Check this out. Whoop. This is what I've used every year, but it's a wireless mic and it comes with several attachments. You can snap on magnetic to, uh, to anything. It's what I use for VR. It's what I use for cooking streams. It's just nice. Freedom of movement. I can leave. I can leave and still talk to you guys, you know? It's just a nice solution rather than going for like a room a room mic where if I turn around suddenly I can't you can't hear me yada yada watch TV in other room how is Leonard yeah Leonard is the name of our starter for our bread by the way um oh let me see I need one of them dashboard thingies to see uh mm. Custom browser docs. I may not have info. F Whoa. Whoa, Aranar. Thanks for gifting 10 subs. How are you doing? Um, we're going to have music playing all day. Mostly chill, mostly video game music, probably. Um, let me see here. Be -do 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 -do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And just so you guys know, there is going to be significant downtime while the bread does its thing. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have plenty of time to do some other things, uh, whether that be more cooking or just hanging out and 
um, I don't know, watching some videos together or something like that. Probably not playing any games. So let me give you guys a rundown of the cameras we got. It's similar to cooking streams we've done in the past. We've got main cam here. This is mobile, mobile up close cam. Here is Leonard, by the way. This is Leonard. It's our poolish, our starter dough that I, I set up last night or yesterday around, oh, around 6 p.m. So, and then we've got, you know, the, the two-in-one cam, small and large versions of each. And also, when the time comes, and it's time for uh, some bread resting, I do have a, okay, it's broken, all right. Why the C... Hold on one second. C920, please. Did I unplug you by accident? Bumperlida? USB sound? No? Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. Hmm. Ba, da, da, da. I didn't have cabinet handles before, that's right. We got some put in, now we've got handles. So many glasses. It's new, you guys noticed very quickly. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, come on C920, there we go. Okay, so this is gonna be bread cam. Whenever it's just resting. There we go. But for now, we'll hide it. And you know what? I need... I'll have timers on screen for when we're doing some bread resting, a.k.a. breasting. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't I don't have one yet, but we're going to have plenty of time to set up things as we go. Um, at dawn, we thrash. You won raffle. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, well. As any good chef, which I am not, first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our hands, and we're going to get this, uh, we're going to get this dough going, because we got, I tell you, four hours and 15 minutes of today is bread. And then 15 minutes is sauce, and 15 minutes is meat. So, we got a bit. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so, let's see. We're gonna go over here. Four hours of getting bread. I'm gonna pull up the recipe here. Get my hands all dirty from just having just watched them. And we are gonna make some dough. I should probably get some tools for this. I'll just use a wooden spoon. They, they were like, use a wooden spoon. I'm like, okay. Spoon it is. So we're gonna add all this. We're gonna add Leonard now, all right? Into this mixing bowl. We have this lovely stand mixer. Bloody wanted one at some point. <coughs> And now we have it. And I, uh, I was cleaning this yesterday. And, oh. Uh, did you say it's the yeast you can do? Nice. Nice. Who is that? I don't have any sort of notifications over there. Um, boop. Hose and monkey, thank you very much. Let the bread jokes commence. Um... <clears throat> But I was thinking, like, this is just a giant mug. Like, I could use this as my drinking mug on stream. That'd be great. I wouldn't have to take, like, any breaks for, uh, for getting water or anything. All right, so that's locked in there. I've used one of these once yesterday for, like, two minutes, so. I know what I'm doing, kind of. 
All right, let's see. I don't know. I don't know how this is all supposed to be done. I I looked up a video that was like putting cloth over bread or um or a glass lid or a um hmm or saran plastic wrap over like bread while it's resting. Seems like the best uh from what I've seen is just to do a lid. So we're going to do a lid. I did plastic wrap overnight and um I rubber banded it. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Anyways, this is Lobo style. So we're going to add this and all ingredients for the dough to the bowl of the stand mixer. Let's go. This yeast was doing work overnight. Oh boy, it's sticky as heck. Oh yeah. Now this is this recipe is going to make uh, two loaves of ciabatta bread, and with that we are making meatball subs. In case you didn't know what we were doing today, this is enough. I, I we're going to have too much bread. I don't need. I don't need to be super conservative with all this stuff. All right, so let's add all the extra stuff, and then this is going to get mixed in a bit for the dough. I have some mixer, or some measuring cups, I believe, oh, hold on. You appreciate the sandwich offer Lobos, but you already ate. Hey, this bread's going to take four hours and 15 minutes to make, so unless you're not going to be hungry in four hours, uh, you may want to reconsider that. Tooth drill, thanks for 50 bucks to St. Jude. I appreciate that very much. Now, our friend uh, Whitney, who's, uh, you may know her as catastrophic from the past, was very adamant that we get these measuring cups for, uh, for powders to be more accurate, as opposed to using just, you know, because this is kind of like liquid, liquid measuring cup, whereas this is more flour and that sort of thing for baking to be as accurate as possible. So she would be mad if we didn't, if I didn't use these today. So we are going to use them. Two and two-thirds cups. We got bread flour here. Uh-oh, my recipe. Ugh. I got to re-scroll it. Thanks to all the resubbers and stuff today, I, I don't really have a convenient way of keeping track of that. Or the gifters. Let's see. Where's the gifting? Kitchen scale simplifies... Uh, so much measuring. Oh, yeah, we do have a scale, actually. Uh, and I was going to be using that probably for the meat later. I'll have to find that. Oh, oh we got Stardew music? Okay, that sounds good. Um, if you don't care, you can just eyeball it. Everything I've ever heard about baking, however, is precision. But I don't know. This is my first time doing it. I want to be as precise. I like following directions, like, to the T. Not that I'm always the best at it, you know. Um, Hurdy-gurdy stream. Okay, so here's uh, one cup. Let me just confirm. Two and two-thirds cups of flour. Hopefully y'all can see that. If, uh, if you cannot, please... <clears throat> raise a uh, raise your hand, and I will not see. Okay, I think you can see though. That's uh, that's two, and do we have? Okay, we got one third. So I'm gonna do two one third cups. Yes, two two cups, one third, and. And by the way, you're welcome to share your own your own cooking uh, knowledge. I'm I'm mostly gonna stick to this recipe, but if there's absolutely something like that shouldn't happen ever, then uh, you know you can say it into the chat, and I'll never see it again, just like 
the other thing. All right, one cup, 240 milliliters, water room temperature. 240 milliliters. I'll eye that. I think I'll eye that. Backseat cooking allowed. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to see most of it anyways while I'm doing stuff. All right, that is just below the 250 line. 240 milliliters water. Room temperature. Added. Two teaspoons of salt. That's my salt. Salt. <clears throat> Where the... Oh. Got it. Teaspoons of salt. Uh, I th we should have, by the way, <clears throat> mods, a command for uh, the recipes. And if not, could we get one? Oh, wolf rat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me see if I can uh, rebalance the the text to speech and the other audio. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm just gonna turn up my my end, maybe. Chef emote. We got some emotes. Whoa. What about chicken parm? Oh, that's the old one. <laughs> Is that Nightbot? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think I posted the recipes, by the way, mods in the something normal. Chad Arino? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. We've got an updated startup image that I just noticed. Let me... Oopsies. Bleep. Let me just... Uh, one second. This is what I did while we were going live. Instead of this, though... Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? Oh, I see. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. That doesn't look unusual in the slightest. Great. I think we've got soy to thank for that one, so. Cheers for that. Cheers for that. I should probably do stuff with this before. Uh... I don't know. It all mixes wrong or something. Something, I don't know. Half a teaspoon of instant yeast. All right, little yeast boys. Your time has come. Half a teaspoon. Um, if you were wondering, and you don't have the recipe handy, the starter dough that, we, that I... Uh, let sit for about uh, 17 hours or so, I think, from yesterday. Just had flour, water, and then a quarter teaspoon of yeast, so. Now we're adding another half. Trying to be as... Yeah, a little bit more. Nice. I can see them moving and breathing. Weird. I can't see that. Good job, yeasty boys. The rest of you, you're probably going in the trash. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, here we go. All the ingredients for the full dough are in here. Mix on low speed with the paddle attachment for this mixer. Let's see. I, I, I did try this. Hopefully I'm doing it correctly. It looks like that. We're going to lower this brother all the way in. Lock it. It says on low speed, just until we get all the flour mixed in there. So let's see. I will do the lowest. Ooh, okay, a little bit less than that. Nope, that is the lowest. Got it. We're going to let that mix for about two minutes. Let's get a better angle here, maybe. Uh, 
as you can see, this is the part of our kitchen counter that's just full of devices like toaster, uh, blender, toaster oven. Sir Barrington and Wolfrad, of course, thank you so much for your $5 donations. I appreciate you. The, the toaster oven we have is also an air fryer. We, I hadn't had a toaster. Oh, my goodness. That's real stuck on there, isn't it? Um, okay. Until all the flour is moistened. It is just all stuck to that hook, is, or the, the paddle, isn't it? <clears throat> Too thick? Don't you need to scrape it off the paddle so it mixes better? Okay. Let's do that. It's all right. New problems, new solutions. Let me get a... I'm going to get like a spatula thing. <laughs> Let's see. Could you get off, please? Please get off. It says on the recipe that this is a, what, 80% moistness hydration bread. So it's going to be very, very wet. Very sticky. Just like I like it. We'll say that that was one minute of mixing, although I don't see too many flour chunks in here. I definitely know what to look for. Definitely. I'm just going to pull it. Can't keep my hands clean forever with this sort of thing. It's like, good luck if you're trying to get it off your fingers. Just... Okay. All right, let's do like another 30 seconds or so. It's probably just going to immediately clump back up in there, right? Yep. Yeast of Yarnum. Nice. Soul Steam Bakery. I'm in. I'm in. Hmm. I mean, I, I'm following the instructions as far as the, uh, you know, amount of water and stuff that goes in there. So, we'll, uh, we'll say that's good. It says, at that point, increase the speed to medium-low and mix until dough forms into a mass and pulls away from the sides of the bowl. About six minutes. Y'all ready for six minutes of spin? I don't know if I should clean it off the hook. All right, you know what? I'm going to clean off the paddle one more time. Seems like the responsible thing to do. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Woo! Doe brother. Doe brother. Blah. Blah. Yeah, that's most of it. That's most of it. At this point, during this, I'll probably have to, I'll, I'll probably put together a, a timer we can use. What is it? All right, let's see. They said medium low. So I, this thing has 10 speeds. I'm going to put it on four. That's medium low. That's four. This is two. This is four. Oh, it's... It, it's it. Oh, God. It's inching towards the edge. I'm going to have to sit here and baby it. Holy cow. Yeah, medium low to me says, you know, below, on the lower end of the middle, which 4 out of 10 is. is. 2 out of 10 seems a little too low. I cannot step away from this. It's... I can't even read chat from here, so uh, I could pull you up on my phone, though. It is 12.25. Let's say we'll take a look at it at 12.30. Let me pull chat up here so I can read you guys. Beep, 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 beep,
Eat. Need it like a man. I have a bread hook. It's gonna, it's, it says to do bread hook after this. It's not mixing Keck W. Hmm. 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 I mean, it's not doing nothing. <laughs> no, it's not the step I need the hook for. You see, it says mix on low speed until all the flour is moistened about two minutes. Increase the speed to medium low and mix until dough forms into a mass, pulls away from the sides of the bowl about six minutes. Then step two, switch to the dough hook attachment and mix on medium low until dough becomes smooth and shiny about 10 minutes. So, how is the internal, internal of the thing mixing? I, I mean, I don't know. I think it's pulled away from the sides of the bowl by now. I'm just, all right. Don't trust every recipe online. Unfortunately, some are very bad. Well? I mean, it's definitely pulled away from the sides of the, the bowl, but that was way faster than... All right. All right. I like to just frickin' follow to the T. I don't, I don't know what to expect out of this, you know, so... What's up, Glam? How's it going? Someone calling fake news on your recipe. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't need to stay in the bowl. <laughs> don't trust all chat opinions online. Some of them are very bad. Um, I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it do its thing, honestly. Follow the recipe, but also your intuition. Not with baking. Also, I have zero intuition. Because I feel like intuition is based off of experience. So, uh... It's definitely pulling away from the side of the bowl, so. Though. So let's, all right, let's pull, let's do this. We'll go ahead and swap now, all right? We did a little bit of in-between. All right, pull this bad boy up. I'm going to take this all off the, the paddle. Ooh. Yeah, that's some stickiness. I could take the paddle off, but... I'm not going to yet. I, oh, sorry. Get out of here, camera. Just a little bit. Get out just a little bit. I can do this without getting my camera all doughy. A uh, who? Jillian who? Voice what? I presume that is a cooking person. Is that a cooking person? A person who cooks? All right, now I want to be more thorough with getting all this off the, the paddle. Just, I don't want to waste any of this dough. So we're going to have 10 minutes of mixing next with the, uh, the bread hook. Or, I guess, far less if it looks like how they describe. But we'll see. That's good enough. That's good enough. Let's take this bad boy off. Don't accidentally turn it on and like shred my fingers or something. Hook. Can you le lick the mixer clean? Sure. Here you go. Lick. Why don't you make something by taking all recommendations from chat? That is a different kind of stream altogether. Um, I don't know why I'm washing my hands. They're just going to get doughy again. Chat cook something pog. I would, uh, yeah, I don't, we, I guess we could raffle off, like, the, all the instructions. One at a time. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty fun, honestly. But not today. Not today. Crowd control cooking. All right, so now we're going to get the bread hook. All right. 
do do. All right. Hooked on there. Now I'm going to read in detail before we do this. All right. Switch to the dough hook attachment. Mix on medium low until dough becomes smooth and shiny. About 10 minutes. The dough will be soft, wet, and sticky, much like batter. All right. 10 minutes. Medium low. Same speed. I probably won't be able to step away because this mixer will probably go flying otherwise. Let's see. Medium low. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Let's lock that in place. Don't worry about that. Oh, is is the mixer staying? Dare I dare I move away to look at chat? No. <laughs> no, it's gonna fly everywhere. Okay. Ten minutes. It's 1231 right now, my time. Let's see here. I'm going to get a better view here. If this mixer will let me. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Don't fall off, mixer. Don't fall off, dude. You fall off. All right. We need a TTS message telling Lobos we can't hear TTS and music at all. Pardon me. Let Mixer see chat. Here you go, Mixer. What do you want to say to the Mixer, guys? Good job, buddy. Good job, Mixer. Frick. Wow. You give me mixed feelings? Okay. You should be heavier, Mixer. Wow. All right. Okay. Here's here's you guys. There you go. Look at yourselves. Look at yourselves. All right. Sorry. Nope. Too late. Too late. Too late. Mixer, please. Ah. Uh, well, I was not expecting to have to babysit this so much, but we're hideous. It seems to have calmed down. No, no, never mind. <sighs> okay. Hey, Mixer, maybe you should bring back your streaming platform. Jeez. Too soon, guys. Too soon. Too soon. Put weight on it. I I am. You mean put a weight on it? Like put a... Yeah, I don't know. I need a clamp. Does the mixer not have rubber feet? I'm sure it does. I just think that this dough is so, like... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's so sticky that it's just pulling the whole thing. I don't know. We'll let it do its thing, though. Use duct tape. Nice. Don't worry. I gotta stay over here for now, but we're gonna have... Once this is done, we're going to have an hour of rest time that I'll be able to hang out with you guys. You put a damp cloth towel underneath it. I'm just going to sit here for five more minutes. It's no big deal. Yeah, we're going to bedge together. Bread got to go bedge. This is the last time we use the mixer, I'm pretty sure. Let me check the... Uh... So... Uh, see, I was hoping that while this was happening, I could do the next step, which is lightly coat the inside of a large bowl with olive oil or non-stick spray. Use a silicone dough scraper to scrape the dough into the bowl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cover with plastic wrap and let rise for one hour. I hope my glass bowl is going to be big enough for this, actually. Um, we'll take a look in a sec. Can we do trivia for an hour? We can do all sorts of things. I can't start any of the the meatball stuff until like the last resting period of this. But yeah, I have it set up so we can, you know, I can pull up some websites and we can watch stuff or do some reactions or something. 
<laughs> Do a DS1 speedrun while we wait. Yeah. Lofium? Lofium. I can't see these emotes, so... Words on stream for an hour. Prepare to meet meatball edition. Let's see. All right, four minutes left on this mixing. No slow cooker meatball and sauce? No. I mean, if it was slow, I guess... Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think this was going to be that much uh, bread resting, to be honest. But I didn't look enough ahead of time to figure it out. <laughs> so, 30 minutes of meatballs and sauce. Four hours of bread. The last part of this recipe really intrigues me. It's like... Put a cast iron pot in the bottom of the oven for, and heat it up for an hour. Put an upside down cookie sheet on the uh, on the upper rack. Then, with the bread loaves on another cookie sheet on parchment paper, slide the freaking slide the dough, transferring it to the other cookie sheet. Quickly throw ice in the in the. Uh, the cast iron pot and close the oven and then there it goes it's a neat little I don't know I'm intrigued I'm intrigued steaming for the crust yeah the quick time event portion exactly steaming it in a scuffed way well it is supposed to be a very moist dough right so a most moist bread mm-hmm I just, I just hope that when it comes to that part, I don't just throw all of my dough on the ground while I'm transferring. You never know, though. Get that mic right into the slappy. Okay, hold on. I was so scared that while I was doing that, I was going to let the mixer fly off the, the counter. <clears throat> Two more minutes. Two more minutes of dough slapping. Yeah, develop that gluten. Uh, part of me was like, oh, you know, I wish I could actually just knead this dough. But when the first step was like, mix these things together with a wooden spoon for like 30 seconds and I was exhausted afterwards. I don't I don't regret the mixing, the stand mixer. <laughs> Old, please. It's just using the muscles in a way you're not used to. If all of my workouts were mixing in a bowl, I would be more used to that. Old Italian grandmas have arms like tree trunks. You betcha. All right, another minute or so. I don't think they give you a... Oh, well, they said... What did they say? The dough will be soft, wet, and sticky, much like batter. We'll see. <laughs> Kneading needed. Much like me. Yeah. Bakers are world athletes. It's the kind of strong where the person doesn't look strong, but they're, like, insanely strong. Which is unfortunate. Like, what kind of... What kind of sick joke is that? If I'm super strong, why doesn't it just look good, too? Okay. This mixer is nice and hot now. And... Uh... I don't look handsome, but I am. There you go. That's what it is. That sort of thing. For the proper full 10 minutes, we need technically to 1241 my time, so. All right. Whew. It's 
hot in this kitchen now. Of course, I guess I've had my my arm on this hot mixer the whole time. All right, here we go. Shut it down. Let's take a look. Nice. All right. It's because you're there, Lobos. Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> Here, let's let's check here, because this is the bowl that I plan to use for our resting. I think this is large enough. We're done with this bread flour. I don't know why I got this over here still. My shoe is untied. All right, so here, let's see. I think this is a good size. And it's clear, so you guys can see while he's resting. Leonard, uh, I don't know, adult Leonard at this point. Let's get this off here. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, no. Get to the next clicky. There we go. Look at all these spices. So many spices. All right, let's get this off here. Like batter, it said. Um, sure. Sure. I, I don't know. All right. Nice. Okay. Un this thing needs more grip. Wait, am I doing it the wrong way? Maybe. I don't know which way it turns, actually. <laughs> uh, Let's... Okay, it should be this way. I'm going to rip you off. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any steps here. Oh, right. We got to lightly coat the inside of the bowl. That was a close one. Almost didn't have it oiled. All right. Uh, it says, with olive oil or nonstick spray. I feel like olive oil is the better way to go about that. So we've got this awesome true Greek olive oil baby. One of the perks of being married to a a Greek expert, a Greek legend. <laughs> I hope you heard that. Bonus points. I'm going to pour this into a bowl, and we're going to paint the bowl, I think. That sounds like a good way to apply it evenly across the bowl, right? Maybe. Making things up. Boop. Here we go. Got one of these these little dudes. I don't know. Let's paint, guys. Wee. I don't, I don't think it's going to go that high on the bowl, but y you never know. You never know. I don't want the oil to, like, drip all down into the bottom either, so. Give it a nice thin layer. I'm doing all the way to the top. I I'm not taking any chances. Okay. Okay. I think that is sufficiently coated. Lightly coat, yeah. Use a dough scraper to scrape the dough into the bowl. Cover with plastic wrap. We're going to use a, a lid, though. A glass lid. All right, scrape me. Scrape it. Scrape it. Scrape better. I'm waiting for the plop. Wait for the plop. Plop for me. Just plop for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull it off unsatisfied with that it did not do a full plop okay it's all staying together very nicely which i think is a good thing okay ah uh, what what you dream to be me well let me tell you a lot of things that you could do better no, i'm just kidding um <clears throat> 
Thank you for the donation. Get it? Donation? All the donations today are <laughs> donations. Oh, Julie Child voiceover. Big oof. Thank you so much for the 10 bucks. Existential bread. $20. Much appreciated. Okay, here we go. I'm going to place this into position. Where's my lid? Where, there it is. There it is. I'm going to cover it. And we're going to put the the bread camera on. At this point, we got 45 minutes. Oh, no, wait. We got one hour. So at 1.45 my time, there he is. Let's see. Get a little bit better of a... Oh, I, have, I do have a question. If there are any experienced breaders in the chat, this lid does have a little air hole for steam. Should I cover that? Well, the idea is we want to avoid the dough getting dried out. I should? Okay. You do plastic wrap. Um, some quote-unquote experienced baking channels that I've watched said that a glass lid is like the absolute choice. And he was like, obviously the best choice here is a glass lid, but I'll do a test with cloth and plastic and nothing, since those are the ones that if you just absolutely don't have a plastic, uh, I mean a glass, a glass lid. How are my cats not bothering me? They know when I'm streaming and they just stay away. I don't know. Um, oh, it's, co it's covered for sure. You mean cover the hole. Who is this impersonating? Who is this gruff bread man? Um, I think that's his stream actually, gruffbreadman.com. <sighs> Double layer the saran wrap. Also, I hate saran wrap, you know? I hate it. But we're gonna keep the glass, okay? I'm gonna do this, all right? And, hmm, what could I do? If I had extra dough, I could use dough to, <laughs> to seal that little hole. I do have some tape though, maybe some electric tape. Let's try that. And the dude also, the dude who was doing it was like, <laughs> he, he left one completely uncovered, right? And he was very disappointed when the uncovered bread actually did did pretty well. Um, but this is a particularly moist loaf, right? There you go. Whole covered. All right? And if this doesn't work out well... Oh, it's all steamed, steamy already. If this doesn't work well, then I'll find that that dude's channel and we can we can dox him i'm just kidding oh shit don't joke about that on twitch don't joke don't joke about that on twitch gako ten dollars to saint jude thank you so much gako and cacho one hundred dollars to saint jude let me turn on the let's see i'm gonna put i need a text here and we're gonna say resting Resting until um, 1.45, bedge. Well, if I do bedge, it doesn't show the emote. So, well, I'll still do that. Uh, let's do color yellow. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of a bolded outline. Uh, black. That's kind of my go-to font. Well, not font, but text what the? i lost it there it goes Ooh. oh oh interesting okay resting until 145 i'm gonna move this again all right so we can see over time or in the vod later we can kind of we can speed it up and you can see the we got music. Wait, you can hear the music, right? This is just super quiet. Oh, it must have been just super, super quiet. 
Everything's quiet. Okay, all right, all right, here you go. Dang, that's awkward. All right, uh, what I need to do is just turn down the volume. There we go. There. Okay. Can you still hear it now? I know, I know, loud, I know. Is it a good volume? Like, just... A, it should be the... The icing on the stream. Yeah? Okay. Good, 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 good. Yes, it's good. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Okay, well, we have... Um, I'm going to set an alarm, just so I know. And it's our first resting period for bread. Um, and what we do is pretty dang minimal in between each rest. We're just going to kind of fold it over itself a couple times, flip it, and then rest. And we're going to do that three times? 45 minutes each time. So, yeah. <laughs> and then during the last time, we will... Um, ah. During the last time, we will do our sauce and our meatballs. Sound good? Um, whoa, raffle coming right up. Whenever Lobos turns, Dono sounds on. Oh, Dono sounds are on. That, that was... The whole issue with the music and everything, uh, it should be resolved now. Um, okay. Let's see. What we can do is, let me just do this. We're going to go to this. I'm going to change this camera. I know, you see forever. You can see forever into... Hold on. This will be my face cam while we're waiting. Yeah. Mm. Hello. It's side streamer. Side streamer. Infinite channel points. Hey, don't look at that. Never play DS2 again. Done. People looking. Okay. Let's um here we go. Let's watch some bread information, okay? Since since you guys how to make ciabatta bread. Let's see some other videos and see what, what they've got in terms of their uh, recipes compared to ours. Let me pull up chat on the phone here so I can actually see you guys. Click on thong guy, thong guy. Uh, I don't think I wanna Google or YouTube thong guy. Hmm, easy artisan ciabatta bread. Let's do uh, Silky Open Crumb. I don't... No need ciabatta bread. All right, let's go. Go back, thong guy. Thong guy? Oh, this guy! <laughs> and memes. I'd be down to watch some memes. Here, let's watch... Uh, I like this old guy. Hello, everybody. Oh, Today he's so cute. Today, we will make bread. For the ingredient, we got three and a half a cup of flour, one tablespoon oh. yeast, one tablespoon of salt, and one cup of two thirds warm water. Look at his apron! Oh, you know, this is English, he would do Okay, uh. now let's start <laughs> the hey, hey, with hey. ciabatta. Stereotype First perpetuator. We start with the yeast. I put it right over here on this bowl over here. And we use this same water. I gotta use of everything the mix. I put a little water with the yeast, and we leave this east. on the side. The east. Now we got the flour. The flour I put right over here, and I got the salt. And I put the salt in the flour, and we give a little mix. I got old fast. Fork, Excuse me. The salt. Okay, you know one the yeast go together with the salt. That's why you will mix first the salt and flour. And you make us really, really good like this. He's just going... It's time for the yeast. And we mix oh. the yeast over here with the water. Okay. He's mixing the yeast into the water. We did not do this. Like this. 
Okay, now this is the yeast with the water and we put it right over here on the flour. You see, it got a little bit more. It's okay. Okay, you see, we got the water, got, oh. we got to use and We mix really good. No luck for the West. Okay. Can you see my swords over there? Kind of spoiled. A little bit with the fork. But after I got to use my hands to mix it really, really good. Okay. So he, now, he's got no... Water. No we starter put a here. Bit on the time. Yeah. Guess maybe you don't need to all the water to make a show. Okay, no come to too soft. And now but so you need a little bit more water, it's no problem. You can pick it up more water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see now? It's still it's a little to dry, got this the ciabatta, you know, gotta be the same like when you make a pizza or you make a bread. It gotta Ooh, be pizza. more soft. Now we put the rest of the water left over. Mm. Sourdough greater than yeast. I was gonna do sourdough, but I thought you needed to like okay. really age. Now we put a little flour. A starter thing. Over here on the table. Okay. Salty, yeasty, watery flour. Yeah. We take this and we put everything yeah. on the board over here. Okay, yeah. We clean up really good the, the ciabatta. Ciabatta. I clean my fork over here. And now it's a time to mix this. But a little bit on the time, maybe I need a little bit more flour for my hands. You can cheat and can use, use vinegar for sourdough. Oh I'm no. Not. Cheating? Like I say, this, you know, gotta be really, really dry. All right. More flour. Mm -hmm. Took you like six tries to make some sourdough? Damn. I love sourdough. Now the dough over here, the ciabatta dough. It, it gotta be a little soft like this. You see this? That's the way it gotta be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I this. do have a bench scrape, yes. In fact, I ordered a second one. I've got it right here. I ordered a second one because at some point it's like, you know, box it up. It hasn't arrived. It hasn't arrived. But I've got one, absolutely. I actually got one of these to cut grilled chicken because when I worked at McDonald's, Okay, I use that to cut grilled chicken, done. and it works and really well. I gotta, do, I gotta put on this bowl over here, and we put a little drop of oil on the bottle. Okay. okay no All right, so he's he's heading to the step that we're at right now. Oh man, I can see the oil in our. Okay, I can now, see this like is a. Done. Hey, look, this is not gonna be. Can you guys see? One second. I don't think you guys can see our bread on this screen. Um. There's some oil. There's like a, a a small lake of oil boing, forming. Is that too much? I, I, you can't even see. Basically, right where the dough meets the glass, there's formed a little. That's fine. No issues with extra oil. Okay. All right. All right. Just making sure. I, it looks like a bit too much, but ah, we'll see. Uh, you can't see it, but it's fine. No, you can't. I know. I, I could see what you could see in that instance. Anyways, so he's he's putting oil, yep. Yeah. Okay, now this it's done. That's it? Look, this you know gotta be hard, it gotta be soft. He didn't even spread the oil we around? Cover. Okay, all right. All right. This you gotta stay for one hour. And now one hour. I yep. got already this oh. one it's done. And do the same like I do. Over here, a pour some towel or something on the top. Oh. Okay, you gotta keep it warm. Oh. Now, this is the one I was making before. Hmm. And you see what it look like. Okay. Oh. Now, we use... Like a scared bird. Semolina flour on a bottle over here. And we use a semolina flour. Okay. Semolina and flour. And over here. Papy? Paper? Okay. Now, I got to use... This we put right over here. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, yes. Yeah. So oily. 
This guy is awesome. That's why I clicked. I could tell. Now, what I do, I pick it up and I move a little bit to lie there. Okay. This is totally different from what we're going to be doing, so I'll be interested. Now, we cut this like this, and I have. Yeah, we'll be doing that, but like towards the end. He's only had one hour of resting. We're going to have three more resting okay, sessions. We start with this one first. Mm -hmm. We put a little semolina, and I push the ciabatta over here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the semolina. This is kind of what I was imagining for when, when I was like, oh, yeah, we'll make some bread. Like, that it would one hour rest, kind of do this, and then get ready to bake it. But... <laughs> I'll be interested. I'll be interested. And now we put Rai over here. Wow, he's just fucking throwing it around. If you work a little bit like that. I thought you had to be like super careful yeah, with it. So I got the oven on already. 450 degrees. Knock out all the air. Hmm. Same with this, yeah. Now, this, he gotta be like this. Say it's too sticky for your hands. It's okay, okay? He gotta be like that. Now, the only thing you use, the semolina flour on a bar. On now, a you gotta use regular flour on the top. Oh. And you do like this. Interesting. Okay, make the crust on the top beautiful. Do no use no semolina on the top. Only what is semolina? Flour. Is that a bread flour? It's a bread flour. Oh, okay. there. Now, oh, wait, he just said that's a bread flour. Okay, look, a beautiful look. This is ciabatta. Ciabatta. New strats All discovered. Right. Wait, what are we lolling? All right. Oh, oh, the, the flour. That's okay, it. It's 25 minutes. I that's it. Check. It's ready to go. But I want to take out. He literally answered it. Yeah, well, I'm paying attention to a lot of things here. <laughs> Close the oven again. I don't want to burn myself. Now we check on the bottle, the cross. See how beautiful? I think. It's ready. And the cross, that's really nice. Mm. It's ready to go. 25 minutes. Let me see the inside. Done. Okay. Let now. me see that structure. Cut it, yeah. Put a little flour out like this. This is nice. We're getting time scanned. Uh, this slide. Ours better taste look like beautiful look at this. way better. Really, really nice. It's not ciabatta. bad. That looks like when bread I to me. When I was in Italy, we was cook this the ciabatta mm. after we take it out mm. with the oven. Like this you bring a different place where we cook the bread, everything. We take, we split it in half. And we put inside the mortadella, prosciutto, and mozzarella. Oh, oh so delicious. Mmm. I, I got a beautiful oil over here. Yeah, oil. Mm -hmm. oil. Eh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. Well, that's, um... Delicious. So he didn't even didn't do the... Like the mm -hmm. starter dough. Nice. Where's his Make Leonard? Ciabatta, and you let me know. It come out really, really good. Uh, Thank you. I love this guy. I, I'm subscribing to him and liking. I like that. Um, simple bread recipe. Uh, interesting. Ours better taste like... I wonder if it's... Is it the kind of thing where with baking the extra steps that you can go add on like 1% flavor where it's like, who cares kind of? I, I don't know. I hope. Yes. Because I'm concerned that I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna do all this and I'll be like, oh yeah, it's bread. But if I did his, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's bread. And I'm, I don't think my palate is refined. Texture and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did like and subscribe. Um, I want to check out another ciabatta recipe. 
now that I've seen that, should we watch this, guys? I feel like, I don't know. Let's see. Hey, what's up? Oh, oh, God, I knew it. All right. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Hey, what's up? All right. Okay. Um, find one with a starter. Uh, let's see. Here's an 11-minute one. I don't even know if there's a, like, there's no face on it. I kind of like that. Yes! Uh, is it just the silent? No talk? This ciabatta nope. bread is one Never of mind. the easiest breads that we can make at home. To make this bread, we'll need only... Ah, she's smiling so much while she's talking, and you can tell she's... This ciabatta bread is... And vegan. Four basic ingredients, and we don't need any special equipment to make this bread. And I've tried to simplify this recipe. No, no simplification. What's with all these simplifiers? How to make my 110% hydration ciabatta? Does that mean there's like water in the in on the when you're baking it? There's just water spilling everywhere. Like what the fuck? No needing, no equipment, no fuss. No. Perfect handmade Italian bread recipe. Um, I don't know what biga ciabatta is. Here we go. Original Italian recipe. Well, the guy was... Yeah, we just soaked bread. Let's try original Italian, but I feel like the old guy probably did an original... Because he is an original Italian, right? I... Let's see. What do you got for us? Biga is a type of pre-ferment like your poolish. Oh. Ooh. No talking. They got salt. They got flour. There's yeast. Wow, they're just... That's so much yeast! Hello, guys. Today Compared we prepare to... the most famous bread in the world. This guy is also the original Chabata Italian. Bread. Very easy to make it. We need only 500 gram of flour, mm -hmm. 380 ml of water, yeah. 7 gram of dry sugar, juice, 1 uh, teaspoon of <laughs> Is sugar, it the son of the old guy? Teaspoon of salt. What if this is the old guy like 50 years ago and he just, he recorded it then and recorded it now? <laughs> That's going to be me one day. One day. I already put the yeast in the water. Now we add half of the flour and the sugar, and we mix very well. We work our dough very well. Howard After Webb. We add I'm turning the off the captions. Uh, flour plus the salt. Can you we guys hear? Again. And after, we need to decide how many loaves of bread we want to do. If we make okay. only one, he's kind of soft spoken, so. Dough is ready. If we decide to make two or three, ciabatta bread we should divide already the dough but i'll show you later huh speak up sonny it's okay we don't yeah the captions are auto generated so they kind of suck can you ask him to lean in yeah i heard a cat oh my god he's so fast how the just kidding old guy had 10 times more energy for sure i'm sure cats will come by soon Soon enough. In fact, I think one walked past me and I missed him, but it's all right. So our recipe doesn't call for sugar at all. But that's because I'm, I'm on a low sugar diet now or something. I hesitate to call it a diet, though. This is like what I did yesterday. Okay, after 10 minutes. After 10 minutes. The dough stay together. It is very elastic, so our dough is ready. Now you take uh, three dish, deep dish like this one. <laughs> if you want to do three ciabatta bread. Oh, three, I see, three dishes. The dish with the extra virgin olive oil. See, this doesn't do the you divide starter the dough, dough in three. And you cover <laughs> with the plastic these all. And we should wait at least two hours. Two hours? Okay, so he's got a two hour rest time. And he's separating it into three. Man, they're really not spreading. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, none of the recipes so far have showed the starter. 
Oh, you think during the pre-ferment process, it, it generates the sugar? Sugar generation. Okay, he's putting some oil on the top. I didn't do that. But we're going to be flipping ours several times. So, A starter dough. It's like, so what we did is our recipe, we put together some flour, water, and yeast. And we let it sit and pre-ferment for three hours. Oh, my God. No, we let it pre-ferment for 17 hours. Um, it's a 15 to 20-hour process. So I did this yesterday. And that's Leonard. That was our pre-dough. Um, three hours, one per bread. Wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to explode when he opens it. Nope. Ah, see, that's a problem with the this, the plastic wrap. It gets all stuck to it. After Hi, Jin. three hours, you can see the dough is more than the double. You need huh. to take your dough. First of all, you need, to, you need to own the oven at the maximum power. In my case, it's 230 Celsius degree. We will bake maximum our bread power. for uh, 10 minutes at 230 Celsius degree. And after we drop off the temperature around 200 Celsius degree for 10. What is 230 minutes, Celsius? 20 minu minutes maximum. maximum. Is that 450? Have a look oh. in your oven, especially the first time. English is hard, dude. I get it. Because if you cook one or two minutes more, sometimes you spoil all your job. Okay, now we take a flour, we put on the baking pot that will go in the oven. Props him for not using and a script, take also though. also baking paper, or this one in silicone. Baking paper. And you put the flour okay. on this. So After instead of you parchment. Put your dough, you give the shape to the um, ciabatta. And it's 446, okay. In this pot, at this pot in the oven. In this way, all the bubble inside, they will remain big. And you will have a nice ciabatta. <laughs> the way he looked at it. They will remain big. Big. Oh, is that what the biga ciabatta is? The big? Never mind. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of flour. That's a lot of flour. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. He's making a little ciabatta roll shape. All right. Oh, what? Whoa! Oh, I thought that was an entire freaking bowl of ciabatta. Are those not going to combine in the oven? This looks like fish. He's breaded fish or chicken. Oh, that's it. After eight minutes at 230 Celsius degree, plus Interesting. 15 minutes at 200 Celsius degree, our ciabatta are baked, baked in the oven. There is the other one. I thought that they can put all the three ciabatta in one pot, but no, mm. it's better. If they don't touch each yeah. other. That's now we should say. wait that they become or they reach the room temperature and after we can taste them. See you later. See you later. Tasting. Oh. All right, let's see. Does it, does it not rise more than that? Like, maybe ours is going to be larger, fluffier, with more rise time. I mean, it looks good. Looks good as hell. Spectacular. You can see the bubbles very big. The bubbles. Okay, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave a like, it, to watch all the other videos. For any question, down in the comments. Now... I don't know mm -hmm. what is it the best way to eat my that. bread. 
or with salami or with Nutella. If we have some Nutella? Down in the comments. On ciabatta? Really? I feel like ciabatta too salty, I would feel like, for Nutella, but I don't know. I mean, whatever. Salami or Nutella. Uh, make bruschetta. I've been watching a lot of bread making videos on lockdown, having no success at all until I tried this recipe. I had to double the rising time because it's been a bit cold here. Interesting. But the bread came out perfectly. I made eight rolls instead of loaves. And they were so soft and flavorful with a wonderfully crispy crust. A million times better than shop bot. Wow. Thank you so much for your posting recipes for us to enjoy. Hmm. Durian wine? You think you'd do this more often if you ended up having a good time, maybe cook some video-themed food? This is our third cooking stream, Steampunk. I don't know if you... The, the main issue for me is <laughs> all the setup. I spent like six hours yesterday cleaning the kitchen, doing dishes, bringing PCs down, setting up cameras. Um, once it's set up, like if we leave it set up, which we have before, like it's not bad. It doesn't take much more. But um, like if I had a, if we did just leave this up all the time and the kitchen never got dirty, <laughs> then then yeah i would totally be down it is set up now so another cooking stream not off the table at all how close am i to the camera am i like being really weird here not off the <laughs> anyways um okay so our bread's first rest is done in 30 minutes so we can watch something else i want to watch one that has here the the biga let's see because this one's supposedly supposedly has a pre oh my wait did this say sourdough okay biga biga is the starter so this is like ours this is nice jams how's it going everyone welcome to another episode today we're making ciabattas and yeah there's plenty of ciabatta recipes on my channel already but this one is special because the whole bread is made out of pre-ferment. Mm -hmm. Normally, we just make a dough, we proof it, and then we bake it. Or perhaps we pre-ferment a portion of the total flour to give it extra flavor. Mm. But in this dough, 100% of the flour has been pre-fermented. Mm. And that results 100%? in awesome flavor. So let's get to it. So it's for it flavor. Strong okay. bread flour, wholemeal flour, water, yeast, salt, and some olive oil. We'll need a bowl for mixing, <laughs> scales, a dough scraper, temperature probe. We'll also need something to bake them on. You could use a tray with some nonstick paper or a thick, solid cast iron skillet Ooh. like this one. I'm gonna use my baking stone because I just got this. I need to give it a try. It's always best to bake any bread on a thick, solid, hot surface. Now, traditionally, Ooh, I have a pizza stone on a kush or a, a thick cloth like this one. A, a what? And this is commonly used kush? in bakeries. You'd flour the cloth Lay your ciabattas on it and then create creases to separate the breads. It helps them keep their shape and stops them from sticking to each other. But when you're doing this at home, it can get a bit messy. So I'm going to try another method, which actually a subscriber suggested. Oh, this time he's listening to his the chat? ciabattas on a piece of baking paper. It works the same way. Lay your ciabattas on the paper, create a crease to separate them and prove them. I'm going to go one step further and use these clips so the paper keeps its shape. Hmm. Although they're not totally necessary, as we'll find out later in the video. But the best thing about this method is that you proof your ciabattas, then you remove the clips, you straighten out the paper, and you pop this in the oven. So it's like a perfect all-in-one solution. Okay, so let's start making our dough. I don't want my water to be too warm because I don't want this pre-ferment to over-ferment. No. The bigger should take 24 hours. But of course, you can speed up the process by using slightly warmer water or using more yeast. But you see, this one tiny pinch will be enough. So this is how we'll make the pre-ferment for the so-called bigger. I think we ours... Use most of the water, a tiny pinch of yeast, and all of the flour. We need to reserve some water, because the next day we need to add more yeast to it. And a bigger is a stiff pre-ferment, meaning it's low hydration. This is around 50% mark. The low hydration of the pre-ferment helps with the slower fermentation. A bigger is a lot more forgiving, 
So I'd say it's kind of a foolproof recipe. Ours was a quarter so teaspoon of yeast. We use most of the water, tiny pinch of yeast, and all of the flour, both the white and whole milk All flour. of the flour. No, see, we Give didn't it a good mix, that. tip it out on the table, and knead it for a minute. And no, I'm not kneading to develop any gluten. I'm kneading it to get rid of any dry floury bits, to get rid of any lumps. If the flour is not hydrated properly, it's not going to ferment properly, and then there's no point to a bigger. You want the dough to look nice and uniform like this. Now it's ready for its long proof. Pop it in a bowl, always take the temperature. 24 oh. to 25 degrees C, I know this will take 24 hours to rise. But depending on the temperature of your kitchen, it may take less time, it may take more time. It's up to you to adjust the water temperature accordingly. I did halfway. Set 15 said, to 20 for ours. Dough, so it's difficult to over ferment it. So this is how it should look. When you poke it with your finger, Wait a minute. it should leave an do I even have the bread on the screen? I don't have it on the screen. What am I doing, man? This is supposed to be... Hold on one second. Hold on. Resting. C920. Copy. I haven't had it on the screen this whole time. What the farts? There we go. Ugh. All right, whatever. Um, back to it. Sorry. Nice indentation. You should see some bubbles in the bottom. If you're using glass bowl, of course. And we're ready for the next step. We'll add the remaining yeast to the remaining water. Give it a minute to hydrate. Mix it well so there's no lumps. And then pour it over your pre-ferment. And then follow that with the oil and the salt. None of our and recipe had like we are changing the mixing of the yeast ahead of, of time. It was 50% to begin with. Now it's going to go up to 63. Whoa. Which for ciabatta is actually really... He's got percentages for wetness the whole way through 63 percent wetness relatively low but the dough will be a little bit loose and stickier because we pre-fermented so much of the flour oh yeah well, rub it all of it oh yeah rub it. once you sprinkled oh, over the salt wet your hand with some water and then mash the ingredients together mash. you really want to squeeze everything until it's well combined it will be oh, a bit sticky well combined messy, but that's just how it is once you combine everything pop it out on your table and you start kneading and to knead this dough, we can use the stretch and fold method. Because it's a bit sticky and a bit loose, so what you want to do is wet your hands with water, pick the dough up by one side, stretch it towards yourself against the table, and fold it over forwards. And you want to always pick it up by one side and turn it 90 degrees. Hmm. It's pretty simple. Once you've done this a few times, it will become second nature. Mm -hmm. And if the dough starts sticking to the table or to your hands, scrape it all up again and continue. You want to keep kneading this dough for around 8 minutes. This is the method you want to use when you're handling a sticky dough. So once the dough has become a bit smoother, not too sticky anymore, we can start fermenting it. I'd always suggest wetting your hands with a bit of water when handling a sticky dough. So mm. this is what it should look like. Nice and smooth, stretchy. Now clean up the mess. Place the dough in a bowl. Take its temperature. We can start proofing. Now my dough is around 22 degrees Celsius, which is relatively Amazing. low. Because I want to ferment it for a longer time. Hmm. But you can always adjust it by changing the water temperature or kneading it a little bit longer. Hmm. Right, so I've left it to ferment for one hour. Now I'm going to give it a fold. So this okay. is what you do. This Wet is... your hands with water, Wait. pick the dough up by the sides, release it from the bowl, and roll it underneath itself. Do that a couple times and turn it around. Now we're doing it differently. The side. Once you've finished folding the dough, you can pick it up and push the sides into the middle and up. This will create more tension in the dough and prevent the folds from coming undone. A coil fold is the perfect method for a dough like this because it's stretchy. And it's also good because we don't have to take the dough out of the bowl. Mm. It saves us making a mess on the table. Now back in the bowl it goes for another hour of fermentation. And after the second hour, we'll give it another fold. The okay. purpose of the folding is to create extra layers in the dough. That's what we're this doing. Will make it stronger. Just to different. Help the ciabattas keep their shape. It also equalizes the temperature, giving us an even fermentation. So it's been three hours in total. It looks nice and puffed up, nice and wobbly, full of air. Three hours. Of course, if your dough is fermenting rapidly, you need to cut that fermentation time down. If your kitchen is cold, or maybe your dough is cold, you may need to ferment it for longer. You should never ever look at the bread recipe and think that the time will be exactly the same for you. That's just not how it works. Temperature is the most important ingredient. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get on to the shaping process. And the beauty of making ciabatta is its simplicity. Whilst yeah. making most other breads, at this point you would have to divide the dough, reshape it, let it rest, 
and then do the final shaping. When it comes to jabata, you simply cut it up, that's your dividing step, your pre-shaping and your final shaping all in one. The main thing to note here is use plenty of flour. Trust me, it won't be too much. And if it's a little bit too much, you'll just shake it off. Now this recipe makes four large ciabattas, but of course you could divide this dough into six if you want. Or you can double He's the doing recipe the square and just shape, simply make though. more. We're gonna the process do like a will loaf. still be the same. Just flatten your dough out and cut it to shape. Now at this uh, point, normally I would grab my tea towel and dust it with flour and place my ciabattas on it. But today, as I said, we're trying this different method. Hmm. So I'll grab a piece of baking paper, make sure it's not too big so it fits in my oven properly. Dust the paper with some flour as well, because there's nothing more disappointing than a sticky ciabatta. Leave decent space between them, you don't want them sticking together as they expand and rise. So now all we need to do is create a crease, so they're nice and separated and keep their shape, and it's ready for the final proof. And at this point I realized the paper clips, they were not totally necessary. Mm -hmm. These ciabattas, they're not too runny, they keep their shape well. So the only creases in the paper that we really need are the ones between the ciabattas. And they don't need to be clipped because the ciabattas themselves keep that crease up. Yeah, but you're still clipping So what I'm it. saying is, all you need is a piece of paper. And that made the recipe even simpler than it was. Mm. Now let's clean up this mess again and start fermenting. So I'm gonna use my baking stone to bake these on. So I'm gonna leave them on the paper itself. If you are using a baking tray, then you might as well place the ciabattas on the tray right now. Make sure everything's nice and straight, cover them up and lead them to proof. The final fermentation will take around an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the temperature of your kitchen. During the final hour of fermentation, you want to preheat your oven 240 degrees Celsius with a fan off. And if you are using a, a stone off. or cast iron skillet, then preheat them too. Yeah. And these look about right, they're nicely puffed up ready to go in the oven. See as that party that. trick of the paper method, simply remove the clips, straighten the paper out, and that's it, it's ready to go in the oven. You can dust your ciabattas with a light dusting of flour, give them the nice coating if you want. I'm gonna use a little bit of flour just to stretch these out to shape. I want them to be nice and square. Although that is not totally necessary. I mean, rustic is good, right? And no matter what they look like, they'll taste amazing. Handle your mm. bread gently to prevent it from deflating. Remember that your oven may be different from my oven, so your ciabattas may bake more quickly, or they may take more time. Is your oven? We're gonna you fuck this bread up, dude. This. <laughs> so put these in. It took me around 15, 17 minutes to be fully baked. 15, 17. If you have a water bottle like this, give your ciabattas quick spritz. We're gonna be spraying. Yep. The steam will prevent the crust from forming too early. Whoa. Help them rise. But if you don't have one, that's fine. It'll work anyway. Well, that's it 15 17 minutes I need later one of those these are done nicely puffed up golden brown all over and that's how you make a hundred percent bigger ciabatta pretty cool right let me know down in comments if you ever tried this before and if you have any questions or suggestions Cut it. also let me know break it and don't forget to subscribe and click break the bell it. for more awesome bread videos cut it thank you for watching I'll he did see you everything amazingly and then he didn't show us the inside isn't that what the isn't that one of the main reasons for the pre-ferment is to make it like the structure awesome? Oh, he did in the beginning. Oh, well, that's cheating. All right. I don't have it. I fast forwarded past the intro. Okay. All right. Fine. Looks good. Uh, we've got 15 minutes. Okay. Let's take a look at our, our dough. How about, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, what do we got here? No. What is this cam? Oh, that's this. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> We're going to take a look here. Yeah, let's get some music going again. By the way, let me know if uh, any... If any... Of my wireless devices run out of power. Oh boy, that's loud, isn't it? Bing, bong, bing, bing. Mm -hmm. If you suddenly can't hear me, it's probably because my microphone died. Now, let's see. I'm going to take a look. I don't know. Uh, let's see. 
It, um... Hmm. It's steamy. It's certainly moist in there. Uh, it's definitely bigger. Yeah, we left that camera off for a while. I've got this hole covered here. Still has 15 minutes, leave it alone. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, you know what? I, I he's, He said the stuff about the temperature, and I, I don't want to get paranoid about it now and overthink. I'm not an experienced bread man, so I can't eye it and be like, yeah, that looks good. Everything looks good uh, with that bread. That's... So, I don't know. I'm not tr I am trying not to move it very much at all. Um, I don't want to mess with any of the air pockets or nothing or whatever happens here. Bread happens. It's kind of unfortunate that the top's all steamy like that. I would have... Uh, hoping for a more clear view. Maybe at the... Maybe... Let me reposition this C920 cam. Maybe? All right, what if I just do this? Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna take it off its stand, in fact. Hold on. I'm moving all the cameras. Get off that. Get off. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Let's see. How does this look? I can't see the monitor at all from here. There we go. I like that. That's a clear view, and you can see it as it rises or whatever. That tap looks funny. You look funny. I'm just kidding. Does it look normal now? Less like a penis? More like a penis? Whatever you want. <clears throat> Let me center it a little bit more, I think. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, this is Stardew Valley uh, soundtrack. I was trying to think if there's anything else I could make while we waited for all this bread to happen. But I don't want to make meatballs and sauce early or nothing. So we probably won't do that. But impromptu dance stream. Oh. Make mimosas. Oh, I did want to pop open some drinks at some point. Not too early, but we got these uh we got these Austin East Ciders. Um low sugar count. I really like Austin East Ciders. It's a local local cider. Um There we go. This one's a blueberry yuzu cider. Does this even have autofocus? Oh, that was oh, that's a dear friend. It's a tangerine mark. I don't know what that's off. Let's find out with five dollars. Hey, did you hear the dono sounds now? <laughs> this microphone is an ant lion mod mic. It's pretty dang handy. I talked about it at the beginning, but. Oh, hold on, let me put these away. I'll I'll have one of those uh, at some point. But um, oh, raffle. Hold on one second. Yes, I use this mic for VR as well. If you watched my Half Life Alex playthrough, this is so cool because it just pops off. It's magnetic. Oh, sorry, it's magnetic. And so you can use it for multiple devices. Um, it comes with multiple magnet points at which it can attach. Boom. And the quality is pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's obviously not like our normal quality uh, microphone, but for being mobile, wireless, and, uh, and all that, you know, sounds pretty good. I better clean this before it gets all too gunky. 
Um, oh, let me see who did that. That dono there. Dono alerts are off. Thanks for the $5. And Shota Boy Lover. And then a donation test for $3. That was 40 minutes ago, though. Sorry. Sorry, my friends. Um, it's with this whole different setup. It's not like I moved my stream PC down here. I moved a, a, an alternate PC and kind of set things up as quickly as I can. Uh, I'm definitely wearing shoes this time, though, which, like, these are nice, thick walking shoes. These are they're Hoka's. Not, hashtag not sponsored, but very super thick soles, and I love them. They're comfy. Plus, we got kitchen, uh, like, standing mats for comfort, because I know if I stand in a kitchen on hard floor for, like, ten minutes without anything, my feet are dead. Uh, I can't see chat now. Let's see. How can I order this? <clears throat> I do have legs. Just wear Crocs. Bloody has all of the Crocs uh, allotment in the house. I do not have any. Green hair looks nice. Thank you. Thank you. We went to the store yesterday to get all these ingredients and stuff, and uh, it was packed. And I could tell so many people were just like, Green beard? What? But I don't care. Fuck them. Fuck them. Uh, my, hair, my hair was invisible. Well, actually, my hair is molding. It, it, it changes colors. It's like a chameleon. But right now, it's chosen green. So that's it. Um, make sure you don't mold the ciabatta. But mold is... No, don't eat mold. Never mind. Well, this is about cleaned off. The water finally heated up. That helps. Nice. Nice. Mold is extra flavor. Cool shirt. Thanks. I got it from a uh, streamer, uh, Lobos Junior. Uh, his merch shop. It's a bunch of souls waifus. Okay. Which uh, this was before Elden Ring, though, so that's why there's no Melina or Ronnie. Plus, Ronnie can go in the trash for all I care. Throw her in the trash. Ah. Might as well clean this hook, too. We're all done with this standing mixer, so. And bread's going to be ready in about six minutes for an update. Raya needs to be there. Yeah. For all the scalies in the chat. R. WTF. Nafeli Lou, huh? It's like sleepy music. I don't want to go to bed. I know, but I'm so tall for this kitchen. I have to like, ugh. It's a bit like I can't, I can't stand and do do my tasks here. Maybe this is why. That was terribly done, dear friend. My posture's terrible. How tall am I? I'm Would seven it be three? reasonable to post a video of Lobo reading my cake recipe poem? It seems the most relevant poem for today, but it feels weird posting a YouTube video without asking. Oh. No worries either way. You can toss it in the chat, Wolfrat. Thank you for the five dollars to St. Jude. Uh, you're six six. It can be a real pain. I'm not seven three. I'm not seven three. I'm exactly six feet tall. Some may say five eleven and a half, but fuck that one doctor, dude. Fuck him. Just kidding. It was a doctor's assistant that measured me. I'm kidding. I actually haven't been height checked in a while. I think. And if I did, I forgot. 
Uh, 5-3 and everything smile, which means I can't reach the top shelf. Oh. Just wear a six inch platform heels or shoes, right? All the time, 24 seven. Hmm. Yeah, you're cooking heels. Pull the Tom Cruise. What did he do? Ah, this music is nice. Even though it makes me sleepy. I feel like this is a much more tame cooking stream, but it's because we're not doing a whole lot of stuff yet. It's going to get real uh, squirrely, I feel, towards the end, once we're actually doing stuff with the bread and also making sauce and meatballs and things. Yeah, you're ready when we make the balls and sauce, yeah. This is kind of like the, the calm before the storm, but it's like a really long calm. Long calm. Uh, unmuted what? You like three pairs of heels because you're already over... Oh, shit. Already over six feet, and if you wear your heels, you look like a giant. Oh, man. I mean, Amazon mommy, right? Amazon... Amazami. Chose how to handle those balls. Oh, I'll form you some balls. I will fondle the shit out some balls later. Just you wait. Giants are cute, though. It's true. That's true. <clears throat> huh? You sword to cut the bread when it's done. Yeah, I, uh... I'll, I'll bust out the swords in a sec here. After our bread update, though. How's bredge? Oh, yeah, there is bredge, isn't there? Three minutes until first rest complete. And that's the longest rest of the day, at least at one time. I guess I could take its temperature and we could see what kind of... I don't really know what to do with that information necessarily, but... We'll see, I suppose. Let me get the recipe and, and, and have a, head, a heads up on what we're doing, so... So we don't waste too much time. Let's see here. You're gonna steal the box of tea on my fridge? That seems like a lot of effort. Especially if you're coming down from Canada. Let's see here. Using a grease scraper or damp fingertips, gently grab one side of the dough, lift and stretch it over the top of itself. Turn the bowl 180 degrees, stretch the same way. Rotate 90 degrees. So basically from each side, I we're gonna stretch and pull over. Me. Kinda like the other guy did. But we're just going to do that once, and then we're going to flip the dough. Um, and then we cover it and let it rest again for 45 minutes. Then we got two more of those, and then we do all the baking. So, two hours and 15 minutes more of resting. Um, missed the raffle. Also, was that a gift? Oh, Dino Dares. Thanks for gifting five subs. And congrats to Phantom Nugget. It is a long stream. Congrats, Phantom Nugget. On your raffle victory. All right, let me turn off this timer. Been paying attention. Um, okay. Let's do it, shall we? I'm going to... I'm going to swap to, let's see, this camera here. And let's see how ugh, adult Leonard is doing. Hello, adult Leonard. Let me, um, it's definitely oily, very oily. He's in college now. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. We're gonna grab from one side. We're gonna lift and fold like this. And then 180 degrees. And we're gonna lift, stretch, fold. Yeah? Look at that stretchies. 
Then we go 90 degrees. And we're going to lift, stretch, fold. And then 180 for the final side. Lift, stretch, fold. <gasps> oh, air, no! Oh, was I too... Ah, uh, air, air. It's going to have more opportunities for air. Big air bubble popped. Big air bubble popped. No. Uh, that's it. That's our update. <laughs> 45 minutes more. Just washing my hands real quick because they're all oily. Clap. This kills the dough. I mean, it feels like dough. I think it's going well. I don't know. Any br bread spurts in the chat? Disagree? I think we've followed the directions pretty well thus far. Unless I completely destroyed it by having that bubble pop. I'm gonna go back to... Uh... You see the bubble? The bubble's right there. I don't know. I guess we'll let that bubble do its thing. Um, 45 more minutes. Should I check the temperature and just have the information for no reason? Should we do something with that information? Where's our, let's see. Let me do Celsius, please. It is right at 26.1 degrees Celsius, which I feel is very close or exactly the same temperature as the other dudes. <clears throat> but, yeah, seems perfect, right? Perfect. I have climate controlled my house to perfect bread Resting temperatures. Cool. Oh, they do that 24.3. Oh. I thought uh, maybe earlier it was warmer. I don't remember. When he first did the temp chest. Chest? The temp chest. 26 is way too low. Well, his was 24, so. And his bread turned out deliciously. Uh, okay. We have 45 minutes now. this camera back oh yeah I thought I said I was gonna bring out my swords this one's just for show but this is of course the the great sword the great sword we're not gonna cut anything with this bad boy but this is a big boy. Look at this. I'm going to reach all the way to the camera with this thing. Big boy. Lobo sing with a sword. Hey, you have this shirt too. I hit my headset with this. Nice. No, this, this one is plastic. It's hard plastic. It's actually heavier than the actual sword. Not actual. It's not the same sword, but... Than our Swihander. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, this one, this one is not sharpened, however. It's kind of sharp, but it's not like sharpened, sharpened. So, uh, we could use it to cut our bredge. Although, I probably want to clean it if we're going to do that. This is, yeah, all of the swords that I collect, besides that one, that one was a gift from Bloody for my birthday, I think, yeah. Um, all the swords that I collect are high carbon steel, functional swords, none of that stainless steel garbage. This thing, this thing will, will hold up and do some damage. Do some damage if you hit somebody with that. Granted, it's not like fully sharpened, like I said. 
<clears throat> I have two swords that are sharpened, though. But they are not great swords. They're just they're just long swords. What's our best knife? Actually, I think we got we got these Japanese knives as gifts as well. Some nice knives here. Let's see. Come on, camera. I don't know anything about knives, um, but these are pretty cool looking. And they're Damascus steel. You can see the folds. If the camera ever decides to adjust, ever. Ooh. You guys, I don't know if you guys know the brands, but. Mm. Mm hmm. Come on now. Camera. 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 There we go. Ooh. Ooh, folded Damascus steel, baby. Nice. Nice. What else? This is just a basically a medium version of the other ones. I'm sure they have their names. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So those are our knives. There's one missing. I don't, I don't know what goes here. <laughs> and then we've got a sharpener for them. They cut good, though. They cut real good. They cut human flesh real good. Just kidding. That's weird. Um, look at that bubble, man. That bubble bugs me. Full tang? Um... I don't know. It's They've got wooden handles, but it might go go all the way. But, but I don't know. Don't know enough about knives. Maybe, uh, maybe once we do some blacksmithing. The computer by the sink. That's right. Nothing's ever gone wrong. One missing, yeah. Uh, maybe the cats have it. Speaking of cats, I'm gonna find a cat. Be right back. I'm not, oh, I can't hear you at all. Is this barely? Is there a cat up there? Link established. Mic on. Mic feedback off. Mic off. Whoa. Hello? Huh? What happened? Huh? Mic feedback on. Mic on. Mic feedback off. Mic off. Huh? Mic feedback on. Mic on. Mic on. Where is that lady? Where's... <laughs> well, we got time. Uh, we can watch some more, some more vitties. Ah. Shall we? Let's see here. That's not a good view here. Ah. I pr I made no such promise of cat. I said, let me see if cat, and cat did not happen. Can we watch the bonfires explode? Oh yeah. Hold on, the resting timer. Oh shit. Uh, we'll say that at, that took five minutes, right? So, uh, 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 150. Okay. So 35, two, 35. Right, there you go. Resting until 2.35. So, uh, man. And then 325, and then 415 is when all of the resting should be done. <gasps> There's a cat. Come get her. Ow. <clears throat> yeah. She's gonna stay for sure. Hello. Meow. 
She tolerates being held for about... It's okay. It's okay. For about 30 seconds. And then she's like, all right. All right. You can go. <laughs> That's Nova. Ah! You can use this time to catch up with Honkai Star Rail's unskippable story. Yeah, no. <laughs> now. All right, what are we going to do here? Uh... Um. Oh, wait, not this. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. Captions are working. That's good. That's good. That Biga Chibata though. Um. Oh, where's my chats? Chatskis here. There we go. I need like a some place to rep, prop my phone on, but all right. Well, you rest away, bread. Hmm. Oh yeah. Does somebody have that compilation? <laughs> somebody linked a compilation of bonfire explosions to me. I guess I don't. I'm not logged in here. I ain't logged in. What the fuck? Oh. That's kind of creepy looking. Somebody have the link? Oh, there you go for a mat. Bong. Oh my gosh, it's nine minutes long. Okay. Let's, wa <laughs> let's watch this. I haven't watched this yet. I saw it though. All right. DS3, a regulator mod in a nutshell. Loud sounds, flashing lights. Yeah, warning. Warning. Bonfire effect. Oh. Don't watch the whole thing. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Nine minutes of this. Holy cow. I like all the different, uh, wait, can he even see me in the, oh, you can't see me. Hold on. Let me move. Let me move me now, current me. And, uh, look at all the different, like, reactions we've got going on here. This is the first one. They're, like, different enough. Come on. Holy fucking shit. All right. Is that... <laughs> Different tactics every time. <laughs> Did anybody die? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Oh, I, I got used to it at this point. Oh. Kind of. Mostly? Nope, not that time. <sighs> Here comes the loud noise. Close your ears. Close your ears. Yeah, nine minutes of that. Yeah, well. Uh, why don't we watch some memes? Sometimes you've forgotten jumping in. Yeah, I did. That took you like four hours. Oh my god, I respect it. Respect. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Memes. This is my favorite memes channel. They got shut down at some point. Some point, I don't know why. And they started back up. But unusual videos are, are just like wholesome. <gasps> oh my gosh, we gotta watch this too. Traditional homemade tomato sauce because we're gonna make some some marinara sauce for our meatballs. Plus, Orsara recipes. It's that it's that older guy again. Ooh, Swordmaster reacts to Elden Ring weapons. Okay, I like all of this stuff. Naginata sauce. All right, memes. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? Holy shit! 
Um. Okay. Shit's cursed. What the? F what the fuck? <laughs> Scattered applause. Oh my god. That's definitely falling. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Scripted. Oh. Wow. No, no, this is gonna be us later. No! Holy shit. I can't do it. Not. Oh. It's like a serval. Holy shit. Why I come downstairs? What? Hold on, I gotta watch rewatch that. <laughs> Why I come downstairs? <laughs> and she got the dog hanging by a nail in a bag. Oh yeah, 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 for grooming, yeah. Uh. Oh my God, that's not music. Music. <clears throat> uh. Monka toss and DMC it. Oh no! Help him! Six, seven, eight, boom, boom. <laughs> huh? Oh shit, is this my persona? Oh damn. Shit. Uh, mm. Yeah, goodbye truck. Or no, that bumper. Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, C7. Miss. Um. <laughs> oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's how hey, Rasta, how you do it so easy, Rasta? How you do it so easy? Oh. Wow! Oh my god. It's funny how, as a society, we think it's okay to lie. But lying is never okay. That's fucked. I'm sorry, what? Was it's that the same? Okay. Oh. He's getting hit by a ball. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. What? He tried and to take a picture. Your dog is beautiful too. My baby, my love. <laughs> oh, shit! <channel. laughs> Twenty dollars, man. You gotta kill it. One shot, nonstop. You can't stop. That motherfucker burned the hell out of me, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Try to kill. The sun kiss oh chug challenge is that a thing? Is, uh, it's because I forgot to turn the oven on in the hand. Look at that. Look at that. Look oh at that. Oh my god, is that a perfect Raphael? Yeah. No fucking way. how sinks do sometimes oh shit oh my god <laughs> that tv tv idiot even so i need to park here that's not how it works you are a disgusting piece of crap your mother oh can't wait to eat these tacos I don't know what's going on oh. there. Here we go. How many? Mm. Okay. What? Oh! That was badass, though. 
Wait, what? Oh shit. Hell out of my finger. Now there's blood on his face. What? He has taste for human flesh. Um. Um. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, oh. Translate? No, don't translate. Oh shit. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Today I'm going to be seeing how many hangers it takes to support my weight. Alright, so I think 15 hangers. Can I come in? Can I come in? Damn, you go. Wendy's. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh no! <laughs> no, I didn't know where that was going and I. I hate that. What to do with expired milk? Throw it in. Oh, turned into free food. What? Wow. Fuck. That dude lets everybody walk all over him. Swordmaster reacts to Elden Ring. Let's watch the tomatoes first. Tomatoes. What's our uh, 235? Is that our. I don't think I set a timer. What do we got here? 235. Okay. So we're going to be making marinara. 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 Marinare sauce later for our balls. And, uh, well, let's just see how our good friend, uh, what's his channel? Oh, Pascal Sierrapa. See how he does. Pascale. Let's go, Pascale. Pasquale. Hello, everybody. Look what I got over here. I'm so busy this week, and look how many salsa I make. So many sauce. Everybody Sauch? pass by and said to me, Pasquale, you make a lot of sauce. I say, yeah, but look at this. No sweat, no sauce, no sauce. Sauce. Okay? And now I got to start. Already I prepared this. I clean up. And oh. Already now I gotta do the rest. I got another big box over here and look how beautiful tomato Look how so nice Okay, now I was buy this at the Hasbro Colors Acre So beautiful tomato look how beautiful really nice and yeah. now this I got a cut and a half I got to clean up and I put it together over there and after we got to go on a fire outside and you gotta start the cook. Okay, now I wanna start the show with everybody. This is Tomatoes done are beautiful. already. What are you and I got this box, but I wash really good. You gotta make sure to wash. It's the way I was doing in Osara. You take a nice knife and you do the tomato like this. This, you gotta get out of here. You gotta cut it. Get out of One here. time you cut this like that, you cut an eye for the tomato, you squeeze, and you put it back over here. That's the way you gotta do. And I got this knife, you got a thick other knife. It's more easy to, to work with the tomato. Squeeze it out. You see huh? this one over here? You got the yellow. yellow. Yeah. What do you do? You open up the tomato, and you, with a knife, take it out. Oh. Like this. Oh. Okay? And you put it back. Yellow bad. Oh, when I was the, the Italy, the Orsara, Boy, how many people on the street, on the street, everybody, he was to do this. Everybody was to sing a song, everything. Mm. Or what? Sarah, or Sarah, now it's the time that everybody make a sauce. Hey, where's Sarah is? Stengo facendo i pompadour. Questi sono i pompadour, ma non so come i San Marzano, so different. Ma però, 
so bello Sap lo sai quanta box ha già fatto di questi qua ne ha già fatto 20 20 box e vedo quanta salsa ha già fatto vedo eh Saucia. ma no e, ma stengo facendo solo su all this sauce I do by myself I don't want nobody to put hands ok no I want to finish anybody to what he doesn't want anybody's poor hands put hands he should do this okay after i gotta go uh the other side and i put want hands. to start cook this is to my oh i see he's saying yeah oh la la pizza fritte baccala oh that's a lot of tomato Yeah, Imagine if they all fell on the do. driveway. I know one of those are nothing. Okay, let's go. Okay, now let's start the fire. Come on, it goes slow, but you gotta start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The lens they're right. using or whatever. Okay, now, nah, this is really heavy. Yeah, no one. That's a big ass pot. Hey, no make a mess over here. Hey, no go out over here. Look at that. If this is what I cook, wait, I don't want to know what. After this one I, I do, you got to see how many water you got in the pots. How many water? He doesn't want any water. There's a lot of water getting in there, though. Tomato blood. All right. Now, it's another job. Oh, this is tomato. Uh, not this. Oh, baby. Okay, Damn. good. Now, this is the only thing now. Nah. You got to start to cook. <laughs> One time the tomato, it's a cookie, you see it's nice, a little soft. I gotta take it out and put it on different parts. And on different parts after I do, I put it on, on the ground over here and we gotta strain. One time it's a strain, the machine, you gotta do the job. And I show you, this machine, it's really good. After we show everybody what it look like. Mm. Wow! Football play. Oh, yeah. I like Yay. your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you my head. <laughs> 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 Is this part yeah. of the tomato? Check the inspector. Yeah, I'm Come on. <laughs> 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 Just the crazy <laughs> Italian <laughs> family, you know. So you mix it every now and then. Yeah. Look. Look how many water, Jeremy. How many water? Jeremy? Jeremy? Is it starting to boil? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It boiled. It boiled. Almost of this is done, Jeremy. Oh, Jerry. His name is Jerry? Almost. <laughs> okay. Now, this I is about ready generate, to take but... out. It's about 45 minutes. And now, we got to scoop this out and <laughs> put it right over here. All the tomato look how beautiful, nice. Hey. Okay, look. Nice. Italian grandpa is playing to American grandson Jerry. Out of tomato. Yeah, help him out, Jerry. Okay, now we start with the plum tomato. We put it right over here. Now we gotta take more water out. Get that water out of there. Uh, Jesus, so much water it in there. It smells so good. Didn't they just strain it? It smells like a fresh plum tomato. Hello, hey, tomato? Look. Plum tomato? Okay. Okay, now this one, you gotta go on this other side over here, like this. 
and I got these little pots. You gotta help me to take the tomato. Cause this, you know, take it by hand, it gets really, really hot. You gotta watch. Mm -hmm. And we pour like that, and we pour right over here. Now, I got this, to squeeze the tomato down. Okay, now we start. Is that a freaking sausage maker? A ground beefer? No sauce, no sauce. Right. This is done, and oh. we put this the rest. I'm a little confused on which side he's going to use butts. the the juice oh, or oh. the. Oh oh oh. Uh. oh 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 oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Blood. Look at this. Oh no! I hope somebody knows say Pasquale. You did something. No, no, no. It's the sauce. Okay, oh. now this sauce. Make sure the watch. Okay. Okay. You gotta make a turn once in a while, and this you gotta cook for the four to five hour. Can now it's hours. like to thin. I want the sauce to be nice and thick. Yeah. Okay. And make sure the turn this all the time. Okay. Now it's a time to clean up everything. All right. <laughs> okay. Now the sauce it cook already for three hours. And I like the cook for one more hour, but already everybody see what it look like now the sauce. Now everybody <laughs> say Pasquale, that sauce it's already that good like this, but I like it to be more thick. Okay. A little like bit more, thick. one hour more. And we do the job. Yeah. Oh my! All God. right, let's put it now. Okay. It's a time for the salt. Jeez. Now the salt I use is sea salt. It's why at the end I put the salt. I don't want the uh, beginning. Okay. You know, it dry if it's too salt. The mo mosquito over here, he <laughs> want to bite my face. <laughs> okay, now it's the salt. Wow. It's an offer for now. Hmm. It has Two taste palms uh, all the time. They make sure it's good to the sauce. So I need to put more salt. But so I don't need a stop. Okay, now it's one more hour. Altogether, it's a four hour to cook the sauce. And now we start the jar. Oh, and that's it? Tomatoes oh, and look salt? Look at that, nice. Okay. Hmm. Pretty straightforward. What do you do if there's too much salt? Do not fill it up all the way. Over. Leave a little space. Okay, you don't want to cover the, the touch of the, the jar, the sauce. No tasting? Oh, he knows, man. He's been doing this a long time. Come out pretty good. You can see I do too thick. A lot of people, you know, do the sauce, do liquid, they come out with more jar. But I don't need the more jar, I need the one that's thick. Oh, I see. I got, I got an 80, I got a 90. That's enough for me. <laughs> okay, now this is really hot. You gotta watch it pick it up this jar, let's boil. And we put a little basil inside. Oh, there you go. It's nice. all I use only salt and basil. Salt it's and basil. It. And not. I think he was saying that people would be like, why don't you let it be thinner and then you could get more jars out of it because less would boil off. But he was like, no, I want it thicker. I prefer that. So, I respect. 
some fresh ass okay. basil in there. Actually, we have some basil. We're gonna try and use for ours. We grow. We've got okay, some basil Okay, now growing. with the spoon, what do you do? You push the basil down. I was look at my mother, and my father, the same way I it was make. I make the same thing. Me, the same thing. Like I said, for seventy one years. Nothing can live like this. Only, only just to turn at the top like this a little bit. Wait, when I, I, I finish, it's a time. Is he gonna chug Take one? the towel. Oh, okay. Keep the jar on your towel. Put this on your chest like this. Eh? Damn, just hand turned. That's it, just hand turned. How many jars has he turned? This sauce I got it on the basement. It's a five years old and still it's good. And I got it more the basement. It plus the new one all together. I did it for, for yesterday. Today I did a 90, 90 jar. <laughs> so this you gotta squeeze, baby. Squeeze. Okay, look at that. And now look at this. Look at this. <laughs> okay, now we put it back. So good. I know you got some of the empty. It's okay. But I put it back right over here. I bet he has no problem with opening pickle jars. Or at least closing them. This now, this jar for three, four days, still in boil. You see what I do? I put my beautiful blank. <laughs> you gotta cook inside. Mmm. Oh, okay. He uh, uses nice that blanket baby. for everything. Look oh. like he sleep better than me. Uh. Careful. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good. That's the way you gotta make the sauce for 1939 at today. Okay. That's the sauce. You know, make a cheap sauce. You gotta be only plum tomato, salt, and basil. We got San Marzano. Uh, people ask me, Pasquale, why you not put on no oregano? You see, I make a sauce. I don't want to make a 90, 100 jar for pizzaiolo. You see, you put oregano, it's a pizzaiolo sauce. But make sure this is no gravy. It's a sauce, tomato sauce. Okay? Okay, good. Okay. This ricchettel, cicatil, and ricatoni, spaghetti, linguino, meatball, brajol. It's my, my <laughs> sauce. Thank you very much, David. Nice. Uh, okay. So add oregano, it becomes pizza sauce. Basil is just tomato sauce. Mm. Chef's kiss indeed. Meet the balle. Man loves his sauce. Awesome. Good shit. This is the most Italian sounding man I've ever heard. I'm honored. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, we got 11 more minutes on this resting. Did the bubble? Oh, the bubble's gone. Oh, wait. No, it's still there. Never mind. It's on y'all's side. <laughs> that bubble is still bubbling. I guess there might not be any avoiding the, the bubble action, but it's, it's fine. Um, how long is this video? 17 minutes? Let's see. I have something a little shorter than that. Um, this one is 11 minutes. If you have one egg and flour, prepare this delicious recipe without an oven. Or, Asmongold tries fruits for the first time. First time? First time I ever ate fruit, I was like, I want all fruit ever. Portal illusion. When everything goes wrong, ugh. perfect baguette. What about, um, oh yeah, thong guy. <laughs> Watch more Italian man cooking. Yeah, I'm done for that. Orsara recipes. Braised lemon chicken. Maybe he's got meatballs. He's got some bucatini, spaghetti shrimp, scampi, chicken marsa. There's meatball recipe. That's good timing too. Uh, sure, let's do it. Let's see how he does his meatballs. We've got our recipe on the internet. It's called Best Meatballs. 
So we'll see. We'll see. I'm interested in the meat. For ours, we're using one pound of beef, a half pound of veal, and a half pound of pork for our meatballs. So uh, a lot of different meats in there. Let's see what he does. Hello, everybody. Oh, this Tonight, is old. I want to show you the mega meatball. This is older. Tonight, we facciamo delle polpette. Huh? I need him to be a little bit loud. Oh, maybe. If, is he loud enough for you guys? I'll just turn up on my end. In Italian, meatball, it's in English. Uh, first thing, today, I was buy the beef and the pork. It's okay. a mix. Okay. And I was chop by myself with a machine. Now we start put the meat over here because this dish is too small. And I put everything on this one. Plop. Now I use parsley. Mm hmm. We'll have parsley. Fresh garlic. Italian parsley. Garlic, of course. Now we put three eggs. Mm. One. Two, three. And I use breadcrumb. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I use a Parmigiana cheese. We're gonna have fresh grated Romano cheese off a cheese wheel too. It was expensive, so it better be good. Better be good. Salt. Uh huh. We don't, we're not putting a whole wheel of cheese. I no use no Oye Baby. I got my sauce already made, and I want to show the parts, the sauce I was made. Okay, he did 42 turns. I'm going to remember that. Although, I think he's got less meat. Okay. The meatball. Okay, now we start the mix. I wash my hands already. And we mix. You gotta mix it really good. When it's a mix good, you gotta make a show. The taste. You know, a lot, lot of, you know, like the taste of the meat, the raw meat. But I was eat all the time. We work at a restaurant. I was a taste all the time the raw meat. Oh, the, oh no. No, no. It's a perfect salt. I don't like pepper, cheese. I eggs. mean, it's a really good taste. If it's just a little bit, and, I guess. The garlic. Oh, the Saint Jude overlay. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. I see. Sorry. Let me see here. I didn't add it to this screen. That's why. See here, you get to see some behind the scenes. How to OBS. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! -da there it is, and we're back to the meatball recipe. Boom. Go back a few seconds. And the garlic. Okay, now the meat is all mixed together. Now nah. I do, I put a little drop of the oil. And I brush mm -hmm. underneath the parts like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now it's a time with the roll. Roll. Yeah, I don't like big, big meatball. I like the meatball. Me to the meatball. This size, like this. You put right over Ooh. here. And I put the oven at 400 degrees. Well, he's baking the them. Already, I put in the oven about 15 minutes. Ours are going to be on you stove look, top. When I'm I roll, sure. it's no, you got to do like this. You got to roll like a boss. Like this, you see? <laughs> you know, squeeze not, it come really like a baseball. Roll look like that. a boss. Ooh, what? Now, the restaurant, what it do, it make a really big meatball. This, you gotta make the meatball nice size. You go eat dish of spaghetti, you can put maybe three on the top. You go to the restaurant, all the time you give it to you one, it look like a soccer ball. This, soccer you gotta ball. be like a golf ball. Mm -hmm. Like it's small, yeah. a good sauce. When do I show you the sauce I make over there? I got nice big pots over there, ready. When you eat this, all the juice of the tomato go inside. It's mm, so soft. Mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. make some marina meatball. I got to review the my recipe now. Bread, three meatball like this. The foot 
some ring, three or four meatball, and with the sauce, mm. it's so good. You can look at on the TV your football game, basketball game. You don't gotta order for nobody. You make it by yourself. Look, and you roll, and you pong. <laughs> pong. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. Now with mm -hmm. this meatball, we can play bachi. Boom! I got it. Two points. <laughs> now this is the right. sauce I was making today. I cook the pork bones Ooh. inside with the meat. And the meat I take out for this, I was Ooh. making the meatball. Now, it's a time to pour the meatball in the oven. Mm. It gotta stay for 15 minutes. You don't gotta cook all the way. Okay? After I gotta cook them. In the sauce for 20 minutes. Oh, damn. Now we put it in the oven. After, when this is done, you gotta smell this. It's a shame nobody can smell on the camera. But I can <laughs> smell over here my cheese. I'm ready. I'll my smell. My garlic, my parsley, everything smells so good. And now we check the meatball, 15 minutes. Let's see what it look like. Oh. Ain't no beautiful? Look how nice, look. The color on the video makes it kind of look All sickly, right. but... Oh. I bet they look good. We're gonna fry ours on good. stove top. Okay, now, in I take one. But this is still, you gotta cook 20 more minutes, the sauce. Mm. A little gray. But for yeah. me, I like look at nice inside. Look. No, don't eat it. It's not cooked all the way. Oh my mm. god. Why is he eating so much undercooked food? It's really tasty. No. It's the best. Okay. We start to take it out and we put it right on the sauce. Alright. Hmm. Maybe we'll Before do it's that. The sauce, start the boil. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, the meatball is ready to eat. Cook a nice dish of spaghetti. Two meatball on the top. And you have a good dish when you make this meatball with the sauce. Look how nice. Okay, mm -hmm. now the meatball was cooked for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to taste. You see, you can get a nice piece of bread. Oh yeah. The sauce, oh, yeah. you pour like this. A single meatball? Single ball? A little parmigiana cheese. Mm-hmm. On the top, you take... I don't... A oh. you. Do I have parmesan cheese? That's oh. it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have mozzarella. We're going to do some fresh slice mozzarella on our Thank you very much. I hope everybody like this dish. I want to. Oh, I'm getting hungry thinking about our meatballs in the future. Let's see here. That's not what I wanted to do. That's fine. All right. I think we're all rested up here. Have you guys noticed this uh, Leonard 2.0 growing? Let's see here. Well, where'd that kitchen come from? It materialized out of nothingness. We're going to do the same thing we did earlier now. Uh, if I can... Oh, God. Set this bad boy up. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. Leonard has grown. Good. That bubble is still there. All right. Hold on. Before I finish washing my hands. Where the music, la musica, here we go. All right. Yeah, we're gonna fold a little bit. Do we get to punch the dough? I don't think there's any punch, dough punching, unfortunately. It's gonna be folding and then being very careful not to remove the air from the dough. So. 
Unfortunately, I don't think there's any punching going on. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. Well, that's fine, yeah. Grab me my dope. Ooh. Ah. Focus. It's definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. Um, Peck sniffs frosted pine soap. Nope. It's Morgan Child's sandalwood. Good guess, though. Looks nice. Look at that. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to try and grab it from where I obviously had not grabbed it before. So let's grab, pull, flip. I'll tuck a little bit. Go 180. Grab. Oof. Pull, flip. 90. Yeah, these bubbles are popping for sure. That's okay. And then 180, one more time. Oh, you know what I forgot to do last time? Oh, I forgot to flip it entirely. That's okay, that's okay. It's just one rest. Just one rest, we messed up. One rest. Crap. <sighs> Gonna recover him. Eesh. Get him into position here. There you go. All right. Will be fingy model. Ruined. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be okay. Forgot one flip. It's garbage now. Throw it away and start over. Yep. Uh, I'm not even going to use all the bread for one sub. All I was imagining... I mean, I guess the ciabatta's kind of skinny so maybe more than I thought I would say half half of one uh, loaf for each sandwich probably like three three meatballs and we're gonna be making a lot more meatballs I think but we'll find some some use for it later it's okay I flipped the planet for you I appreciate that very much um Where's our bread bread cam? And we need, uh, let's see here. Resting until 3.25, yeah. Okay. Two more rests to go. I know there hasn't been a whole lot of cooking action, but before you know it, Everything is going to start happening. And I think what I'll do is during the last resting period, we will cook the meatballs first. Then we're going to make the sauce. And then kind of like him, I'll put the meatballs into the sauce once it's like finishing up. And, uh, hmm. Although, we still have to bake after that, so maybe I'll start, like, halfway through the last rest. Get the meatballs done. Put the ciabatta in to bake. Then make the sauce. Put the balls into the sauce. Bread finishes. And then we're good to go. Yeah? I think that sounds good to me. Lazy dough. So much resting. I know. Lazy dough. Um, all right. Bake gonna be quick. The recipe, I think, says 25 minutes. But we should definitely keep an eye on it. And I'll put the camera on the oven. Um, in fact, let me prep the oven right now. Because it has some specifics about the, um, the rack locations and such. do 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 See, I'm always worried, though, when I have a whole bunch of things 
planned to happen, like, back to back to back. Hopefully it doesn't get too chaotic. One second, let me grab that bread recipe again. Um, Ike Cube, welcome back. Thanks for the resub. Thanks everybody else for the resubs. Uh, your dono message poem, hold on, dino? Oh, I missed, how did I miss these? Uh, yeah, dino, oh shit. Is text-to-speech not happening? Maybe it is. Oh, I think it is. Uh, thou noble streamer raiseth for St. Jude's. With virtuous deeds, hope forever exudes. Thy gaming prowess a radiant flame, bringing light and joy, earning lasting acclaim. In this small donation, my support holds true. May blessings befall as thou continueth through. Cancer, you egg, stabs him. Stabs? Who's getting stabbed? Um. <laughs> what do you about? He'll thank Ike. What, Spaz? Phantom Nugget. Thanks for the 15 bucks of St. Jude. Since you were looking at buying the game you got from the giveaway anyways, you'll give the money to the kids instead. Well, thank you, Phantom Nugget. And Swamp Witch, much love from Cajun Country. Cut fancier and make meatball. Thank you, Swamp Witch. I appreciate that. Hold on. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, let's check on the, the oven prep here. That was charitably done, dear friend. Oh, my. Dude, dude. Doot doot. Thank you so much for that donation. Hold on. Check out these cups we got from St. Jude, actually, when we were there. I don't know if you can see them. The St. Jude cups. Huzzah. This one says, play for bragging rights, and it's got some little game, game controllers on there. In case you couldn't see them over here. Yeah, they're blocked by the chair, but anyways. Oh, dang. You're going to eat your way through New Orleans, Jared. Oh, my goodness. Cajun country. Uh, let me see about where we're placing these oven racks. Let's see here. Oven. Oh, cat! <laughs> cat in the reflection. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see. Dirty oven. Let's see. See, this says bake for 25 to 30 minutes. But we'll keep an eye on it while it's baking. Um, let me find out exactly where the instructions are for this rack placement. One is in the lower third position. Like it said, just below the middle. All right? That seems just below the middle. And then... And one at the very bottom. Okay. And... I'm not sure... I think this is a cast iron pot, but it doesn't look like a cast iron. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's like super heavy. The non-painted part is, is there a sticker on this? I know you can't see, but there is a sticker on this. We haven't used this yet. It's not black. That's, that that's the, done, that's the thing that makes me like go, oh, Keep up the it? good work, flyboys, and cut fancer. It's one of these, and it's, uh, oh, thank you for the donation, a Dutch oven, but would that work the same? It's basically going to be for creating a humidity and moistening it, Dutch oven. Don't use that. It works the same. Why wouldn't I use it? 
All it's gonna do, all we're doing is putting ice in it and then the ice will melt and evaporate and then moisten the bread. An enamel Dutch oven? Yeah, cause the, the top, yeah, I guess it's not cast iron. It looks, it, it, it's deceiving, but yeah, it's very heavy, so a Dutch oven. It, it just, it, I don't think it matters that it's cast iron, right? But we're gonna preheat it along with the oven. And then when the bread goes in, we throw ice in here. And then that evaporates and moistens up the, uh, the bread as it cooks. Steams it. Hey, Stalking Mantis. Thanks for the 12 months. Enabled cast iron is oven safe. That'll be fine. I would hope it's oven safe. So let me go slap this where we're gonna slap it, which is in the bottom. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yeah, that would be just below the center. Maybe I can put the rack on after I place the pot, but I don't think so. With the height that it's looking like. Oh, make it smaller? Yeah. Let me see. Are cast iron pots particularly, like, small? Like, short? I don't know. Oh, we could get rid of the bottom rack. Yeah, it doesn't even need to be on a rack, right? Pro probably. Yeah, let's see. Get this bad boy out of here. Depends. It does, that's bad for the oven. Hmm. What's stressing you out? The oven's not on. Mmm. <laughs> Throw out the whole rack. Do not put the pan on the bottom of the oven. Mmm. Yeah, what if we put the rack on the bo bottom? Let's see. Yeah! No. Mm. What about the other way? No, it's got these big... Do not put there. Hmm. Any banjos in the chat? I'm gonna pull up chat so I don't have to keep walking back to see what you're saying. Pot on the counter, just turn the oven on, full blast with the door open. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's no way this is going, like, over it. It's close, though. It's real close. You think that would be too high for the bread? Too close to the... The warmth? generators. <laughs> you have a wider, flatter dish that can hold water. Um, the burner is at the bottom, not the top. Oh, is that for broil? Does that one not actually... Oh, we've got a wok. I mean, I've got skillets. Oh, but I don't think the... I don't think the handles work in the oven. Walk pog. I don't have any that don't have any like rubber handles, I think. So I think it's our best bet, honestly. We got some other pots in here, but sorry if I'm hitting the mic on stuff. Um 
cookie sheet. A cookie sheet makes sense too, but... I've also got a pizza stone that I was thinking of using for this, for cooking the bread on. Let's see, because that's what they said, like, you know, flat. And then we can preheat the pizza stone as well. If I, let me just break everything else. Because they say to use a, uh, use a cookie sheet and put it on the cookie sheet. Glass casserole pans. Pans? Or pots. You have an extra iron skillet, but it might cost a lot and take too long to ship it there. Sorry. Thank you anyways. Needs a cast iron skillet on his throne page. How does this become so complicated? It's towards the end. It's a special, I don't know, step to maintain moisture while it's baking. And it's probably the one thing that intrigued me the most. You know, we have a pie pan. <sighs> See? It's a pie pan. I mean, I feel like a pie pan could work for that. Uh... <clears throat> Doesn't have all the numbers of pi, though, unfortunately. See, there's dot, dot, dot at the top. And also, just throw half a cup of water on the oven floor and close the door quickly. That sounds less elegant. I, th I think we're just going to go with pie pan. So let me take the stone. I'll slap it over here for now. Give me this... Dutch, what is it, Dutch, Dutch oven, Dutch pan, <clears throat> get out of here, <sighs> made in France, I thought it was Dutch, I'm just kidding, okay, there we go, pie pan, and now we can put this on the one right below the center. Perfect. I guess the only concern is if they are like, fill the entire thing with ice, because this would be a lot less than what a whole cast iron skillet, I think, could hold. Hmm, there's a flat side to this pizza stone. That's well, a little dirty. Let me clean this a little bit. Hello, Raptor Red. How's it going? I don't even know how to clean a pizza stone. I'm just, I'm just do it like normal. It's a dish, right? That's how Canadians were formed. SR Behemoth, hello. The pan will heat too rapidly and then cool too fast if ice goes into it. Yeah, but I figure it's best than, better than nothing, right? The oven's gonna be hot as it is, so. It'll evaporate eventually. You don't exactly clean them. Oh, well. Too late, I guess. I was just trying to get some crunchies off that kept it messed with the, the flatness of it. He had a dream about Ikea. Oops. Got water everywhere. It's, uh, I hate sinks, man. There should be giant plastic walls all around the sink except for the front so you don't get water everywhere. That'll dry off when it's when it's heating up. Okay. So that will be the bed for our bread when the time comes. We're on the second to last rest now, I think, right? Leonard, right? Rock and stone. 
Red bed. That's right. Um. Yeah. That's a glass pie pan. It is not. It is ceramic. Won't break going from optical with ice. Right, right. That's definitely something to think about. A little ceramic crack in like that. Any ceramic science? Um, ch chat friends. I look totally normal with green hair. The beard, I think, is the weirdest looking part, honestly. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Stream is top tier entertainment, no joke. Oh, that's good. I'm not doing much to entertain. Cast iron is to prevent shatter. Okay, well then we'll do a cookie sheet, all right? We'll do a cookie sheet. Whoever dyed it did a really good job. Oh, it was myself and Bloody. Bloody distributed it into my hair. We just did it at home. I'm gonna use a cookie sheet, all right? Exhaust all the options. Oh, or we've got a, uh, we've got a muffin pan, and you can put ice in the little muffin uh, things, holes. <laughs> um, all right, cookie sheet. The cookie sheet will not retain the heat as well as a ceramic pan, or a uh, rather a cast iron skillet, but, well, we don't have one, so we're just going to have to deal with it. What's wrong with using the big pot we had before? Uh, it didn't fit for where we wanted placement, and also, yeah, I don't know. The ice could have a, a, an effect on that as well. The muffin pan. Rest until 325. Okay. Quick, go buy something else. Hello, traveling bard. How are you doing? Welcome. Um, it's in the bread recipe, Ian. As we place it into the, the bread into the oven, we throw ice beneath to... Uh, Evaporate and moisturize our loaves. Moisturize our loaves. We did, we took the pie pie uh, dish out. Equi, all right, all right. You would move the rack up one and use the Dutch oven. It will work. So many oh god, so many options. Hmm. The loaf is happy and it's laying moisturized. How's it doing? Has it grown? We should have put a line, like... Let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Text line and just do some underscore action. And I'll color it red. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's a big line. go whoa 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 that's a long ass line uh, it needs to be less than that actually it's really confusing because whenever you select an item in OBS it highlights in red with red lines around it so there you go We can just order takeout, yeah. Let's see, what game is this from? Is this still Stardew? Yeah, it's still Stardew Valley. Full high quality soundtrack. Jammies. Does your fridge have a handle on the side that doesn't open? No. Not that I know of. <laughs> Nikkei Daily's just reset. Thank you. I'm going to keep cleaning things because there's stuff to clean and 
I hate having like a whole bunch of stuff at the end that you gotta clean. I will always like, if I'm making myself a meal and it uses a bunch of things, I'll make the food, I'll plate it, and then I'll clean for like 10 minutes while the food gets cold. And then I go back to it. Um, those doors are reversible. 99% why you don't cook something nice daily too much clean. There is a lot to clean, usually. Beep, 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 beep. But it's nice, because Bloody and I will cook together. I typically do the meats. So I'll, uh, I'll prep the meat, season it, pound it, pound the meat if necessary. And then she's doing, like, veggies and stuff. And then, um... Once I'm done with the meat, I'll start cleaning things while she's kind of assembling and doing the rest of the cooking. You like leaving the dishes until you have crippling anxiety about the amount of work it would take to clean. Yeah, that was yesterday for me. We had left some dishes for a while, and it was just like... I took like an hour and a half just cleaning dishes and did a load in the dishwasher. Man, this dough is tough to, tough to break down. I I like the I like cooking, um, honestly. I, I don't do it very much, but if I had more free time in the day, like around this time, I would love to dedicate that to, to cooking meals. Um I don't think I will make it a staple of the stream, just because there's already so much stuff to stream. No problems there for content. Cooking's fun, though. Uh, he's exactly six feet tall. Yeah, I'm having to, like, crouch over this dang thing. You just cook spaghetti. Nice. I like spaghetti. Man, when you're cooking, like, sauce. Just put some meat in the sauce and just... Garlic, oregano, Italian seasoning. Ooh, smells so good. That's what we're going to be doing with the meatballs later, baby. Excuse me, the salce. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to get into grilling more as well. Because after we did a whole bunch of meat stuff, or a bunch of cooking recently, and I was doing a lot of the meat, I was like, this is easy. I'd be down to grill. Our grill hasn't been used in, like, I don't know, a while, though, so I need to go and clean it out. Got a bunch of old ash in it and stuff. Our sponge not allowed. I just, with certain things with cleaning like this, like, I don't like to use tools too much if it's going to get the tools all messy, you know? Like, I'm sure it'll... It'll wash out, but whenever I pick up a tool and it's full of the stuff that I was cleaning, I get grossed out. I'm like, I need a new one. I don't know, I'm weird. I'm weird. Holy soap. There's a lot of dish soap. Well, it's a lot of stuff to clean. A lot of stuff to clean. Dirty cleaning tools are awful indeed, especially if it's... Yeah, old, chunky stuff. Ugh. Even with this, it's... Having a heck of a time cleaning this dough off. It's so... Ugh. It just needs hot water to dissolve it, really. That's not weird you're, you're that way as well. I'm, I'm super... I'm very, like... Like, I'm the problem when it comes to overusing water and shit, because I'll just... I'll clean stuff super slowly, but, you know, with, with elbow grease to make sure it's cleaned. Like I'm having to scrape all this dough off. Get off! 
dough in my fingies and shit. Never cooked pancakes standing on a chair. It was a lesson I learned the hard way. I kind of feel like I shouldn't have had to. Standing on a chair. I have a dishwasher, but it there are absolutely times where I know the dishwasher will not clean this, and I'm just going to have to clean it again afterwards. Plus, if, if it's only a few dishes, or like a lot of times I'll finish eating food or whatever, and if I used plates and things, I'll just clean them immediately and then not have dishes for the dishwasher. It's just my preference, really. Why do you only ever see the second message? I don't know. Don't tell me. Phenomena, phenomena, I cannot explain. The Twitch chat reading, the dynamic or something. Yeah, see, and then I dry, I hand dry all this stuff, and then I put it back wherever it goes. And it's probably, probably a big waste of paper. What's the time? Uh, diaper time. <laughs> You're so focused on watching the dough, you swear you see it moving. Hmm. It's kind of a bad angle, though. It's looking up at the dough. So if it rises, it's it's not gonna be as noticeable as if it were from directly from the side, right? So, but diapers in your food? Yep. Uh, what made the choice for me with green? That was chat. I mean, I provided the choices. This year, green or red? In the past, we've done purple, blue, and white. And we hadn't done green or red, so I guess next year's gonna be red or I guess we could do full on blonde. Um, just bleach it and leave it. So got this oil here. We can use that later. We can use that later for our balls. For our balls. What does that sound? <clears throat> Here's my new mug. It works, it's so perfect. It's like a giant teacup. Just never have to refill this thing. <laughs> Let's see. I think this is even, yeah, the dough's been sitting even longer in this. Next year, paint face green. Mm -hmm. You can also use it as a helmet. That is true. Yeesh. Damn stubborn dried dough. If I had known, I would have cleaned much sooner. I basically just have to fingernail chip all this stuff off. Oh, for those who were saying, that's a ton of dish soap uh, at first. This one, for some reason, I have to push really hard for it to come out. So while it looked like I was just like, you know. One shot vodka. Glug, 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 glug. Nope. I just opened this dish soap last night, too. It, it barely, barely pours out. Just let it soak. Nah, I don't like to let it soak because that's, I mean, in some cases, if something gets left for a long time and it's like, okay, that, that that's gross. Then I'll let it soak. But this is pretty fresh and it becomes a thing where you're like, ah, just let it soak. And then you have 30 dishes that are soaking all piled around the sink. Like, yeah, they're soaking. <laughs> I don't want to have to come back for it. I want to do it now. Well, I can. You're so particular about washing dishes. Me too. It is hot water um, that I'm using. But yeah, hot water is the way to go for cleaning. All right. Let's see. Yeah, it's 
still chunks. Yeah, I get that dome right into my fingernails. Delicious. Hey, doing the dishes is part of cooking, so. We've always done the dishes in the past, too, I think, in the other streams. You can only let it soak if you clean the one currently soaking and you put the next one in the sink. Now, that's a good way to do it. That's a good way. I've thought about doing gloves, uh, wearing gloves when I do dishes, but every time I think about it, I just go, eh. Unless it's really gross stuff. Not nah, even then. I don't even know if we have dishwashing gloves. Problem is, you always feel like the gloves are too gross to put on again, but it's the outsides of them. Plus, you wash the gloves, right? No? Gloves are just another dish to wash. Almost there. Give it a nice little swirl. I don't know how how much this microphone picks up. Can you hear the pouring when I pour? Nice. Go full protection, wear gauntlets. No? Okay. It's got a pretty good noise gate on it then. Here slightly. Full plate dishwashing, of course. All right. Well, stand mixer, you did your job. You know, the one time every, uh, I don't know, every year we need you. Let's see, where does this go? Uh, where does this go? Uh, down here? Nope, not down there. <laughs> uh, I might have taken up the space where it used to go. Let's see. Whoa! Camera's okay. We have, we have our bowl stack, you know, going from larger bowl to smaller bowl because they all fit inside themselves. Perfect. Is this still Stardew? Watch where you're throwing that ass around, pardon me. Did I get Fantoft? Fantoft, thanks for the 10 bucks half an hour ago. I hope I got you at that point, but if not. Um, when they just fit. Things are getting close to getting exciting. So in 10 minutes, one last fold before final rest. And then about halfway through that rest, we start doing Balls. Balls finish. Then, dough time. Get ready for bakes. Start bakes. Sauce time. Sauce. Sauce. Balls in sauce. Bread finish. Meatball subs. Mozzarella onto... Uh, Onto the ciabatta. We got fresh cut mozzarella yesterday for that. Yeah, it's gonna be good. 
I can sauce your balls. Oh my god. We're making meatball subs. We're making ciabatta bread from scratch, uh, which has been the whole stream so far. As you can see, our bread there. Oh, it's past the red line. It's past the rest, the red line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with that bad angle. Um, can't believe they do this every time you order subs in 10 minutes. Let me clean this guy. Cleaning spoons is the devil. It's just gonna spray everywhere. Frickin' spoonge. Spoonga. I'll turn your water down. No, I'm going to embrace my wastefulness. Embrace it. Oh, you mean for spoons in general? Well, yeah. Mm. No, this this spoon is fine. It's it's shallow enough. I really don't like wooden tools. I feel like after a couple washes, then it's like, all right, the timer begins for when the wood starts to like splinter and fall apart. Same for like cutting boards. But I don't know. Yeah, frick wood, man. Frick wood. We gonna plant some crops? We got some crops planted actually. We've got um, cherry tomatoes. We've got some basil we're going to try and use. Actually, I should check on the basil. Alright, there we go. Whoosh, whoosh. Clean spoon! Can't wait to clean more stuff afterwards. But I think everything is... Wait, where's the... Oh, we already cleaned the bread hook. Good for me. Good for us. Uh, if you re-oil them and last long, they last longer and feel better. Yeah, I would just rather have a different tool. You have wooden cutting boards from your grandma. They harden so much over time, they're basically stone. We just got a new cutting board. Look at it. Isn't it so cute? Is kitty, is kitty. Cook, cook area. Kitty. We've got this small one. I like it, but it's starting to get, yeah, I don't know. Oil would be a good idea. I use that for my meat a lot. And we had a circular one. This had like a metal band all the way around, which immediately just separated and started coming off, so we just took it all off. But yeah, there's like a gap in the wood here, the paneling. Sand it, yeah. When am I playing Jedi Survivor? Any new games are coming in June. First will be Jedi Survivor, then Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and then Final Fantasy 16. I took the metal band off, you let the ghost out. Oh shit. Whoops. Yeah. Man. I had breakfast right before stream. And I'm not gonna eat until meatball subs. I'm gonna be so hungry. Any oldie games you plan on playing? Our next podcast game is The Lion King for Sega Genesis. I'm gonna die. Everyone hear the Silk Song news? Yeah, about it being uh, 
Still coming, just taking its time? Yeah, that's fine. That's great news. <clears throat> what do you hate yourself to play that game? I hate myself for the podcast. Eh. Oh, wrong way. We got, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, till 325. Oh, we're almost... Okay. I guess we did all that oven stuff and cleaning, so now it's just about time for bread update. Second to last. Second to last bread update. Whoa. This is not... Even. It is tilted! Uh-oh, I, I tilted it somehow. And I don't like that. Uh, whatever. It don't matter. How to watch the podcast. Exclamation point podcast is right. Um, it's on Spotify or uh, iTunes. Uh, whatever podcast platforms there are. Most of them anyways. Saturday morning gaming show. One of the devs on Twitter said they wanted to release it early this year, but it needs more dev time. That's good. I, that's a good sign, I, honestly. Did you guys see that Overwatch 2's PvE was canceled? Which is like the only thing I was really looking forward to in Overwatch 2. So... Pfft, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what's in the bowl? That's our bridge. That's our bridge. We're about to... Uh, yeah, I mean, I blame Jeff Kaplan. After, I, I mean, Jeff left for a reason, I'm sure. But, yeah. Usually when, like, the lead director of a project leaves, there's not necessarily a good reason for it. Took his tiggle biddies. What PV was canceled? Overwatch 2. He probably had higher ups like um that single player is it competitive multiplayer i mean well no you see it's a single well not single player but pve and they're just like um is that gonna drive our players to whatever i don't even want to think about it it's, it's what it is um, 323. I think. I don't, we waited all the time this way. Yeah. How will this make us money? I mean, they probably would have, like, sold single player campaigns or something. I don't know. Made it, like, gotcha style grind. Or, I don't know. Does PvE sell Battle Pass? One of the reasons they claim they're making, they aren't making PVE is because players are playing PVP more, but there's no PVE, so, yeah. All right, let's do some dough. Come hither. Leonard 3.0. This is our final, our final folds on it. And remember this time to, I'll give you the full screen view. Remember this this time, Lobos, to actually flip it. This is our last flip, final rest for the dough. So let me wet my fingers a little bit. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. All right, fold over. 180. Grab. Oh, my goodness. It's like, it's, it, the stretchiness is, uh, it's much tighter now. These poor bubbles, dude. There we go, stretch. Fold. I, I don't, I don't know if I'm stretching far enough, but 
it's not super stretch. Okay, and then flip the whole thing over. All right. One last. I'm just washing my hands real quick. Bubble. Yeah, it's it's bubbly all over the place now. Which is good. It's good. We got air in there. It's moving. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I was less afraid to stretch it uh, at this point. But I think in the earlier stretches, I may not have stretched a whole lot. What's that? Waiting for the food? Yeah, me too. Me too. Soonja. Soonja. Ah, oh, let me cover this bad boy. There we go right at the line. Um, sounds like a water level OSD. 327. We're going to go till 4. Oops. We'll do, we'll do 415. 415. Okay. Which means... Let's say at 3.45, we're gonna start Mitabala, which means let me prep for that. I don't want time to get away from me. Mitabala. Do we have uh, exclamation point recipes for him? Time to get away from the meat. <laughs> Recipe? Okay, there's our balls. And there's also a sauce recipe. Mods, do, do we have that as well? We're doing the sauce afterwards. Prep time, 30 minutes. Cook time, 30 minutes. Oh, really? Well, let's see. Okay. Yeah, let's actually just get the meatballs going. Um... Doom, doom, doom. Okay. Combine beef, veal, and pork in a large bowl. Mix in eggs, garlic, parsley, salt, and pepper. Yeah, actually, I kind of want to go fast for this. I, I, I don't want to run out of too much time. I'm going to pick this up a little bit. I think it changed soundtracks because it's kind of loud now. Let's see. No, it didn't. It just got loud. All right, there we go. Preheat the oven. Yeah, you're right. At this point, yeah, for the bread. Thank you. We're going 450, I think. Um, yeah, 450. Make sure I got our things in there. We're going to do cookie sheet. We've got our uh, pizza stone in there. Bake 450. It's going to get hot in here. All right. The preheat has begun on our oven for the bridge. Are we using a sword for anything like last time? We may, we may. Where is the text? <laughs> oh my, large. There we go, nice, okay. 
All right, meatballs. We're going to combine into... Oops. Beef, veal, and pork. We're doing a pound of beef, half pound of veal. We're going in a large bowl. So I'm going to get a large... Large bowl. Hopefully this is large enough. I think it is. I think it is. It's also green. It matches the hair. Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to raise this. Zoop. And then point down. No disrespect. Okay. Let's get our meat. Oh, yeah. Meat, baby. Now, let me look, because this is where I want to have our scale. Let's see. Is this it? This is it. Max two kilograms. Ah, I could do half a pound. Let me see. On? Nice. Okay. On SR. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. This is our beef. This is exactly one pound, according to the, um, according to the packaging. One pound, 16 ounces. So, that's just all gonna go in there. Let's do it. Uh, where did my scissors go? They're still out. Beef. Yeah. I can't really read chat, because I got the recipe up, and I'm way over here, so... Lock o beef. Beef. I'll probably try and prevent too much extra juice. I mean, it's like, there's like no juice, man. All right, one pound there. This is ground pork. How much we got here? This is a pound, but we're going to do half of it. So let's see. Just grab it. Chunk it on here. Okay, it's in grams. We can change that. Oh my goodness. How many grams is half a pound? <laughs> Anybody? Conversions! Conversions! How dare you not even reach out though? It's physically impossible. Not sure. 250? Wait. 250? 250-ish? I don't think it's too too uh, too big of a deal, right? So there's uh, there's 196. So we'll get like that's no, that's way too much. Yeah, there we go. 49. All right. So there's our pork and then our veal, which this recipe calls for. Touching my scissors with raw meat hands. Touching my... 147. A little bit more there. Okay. Great. Meat is in there. I'm going to wash my hands now. Touch chat with those raw meat hands. Wait, 450? Oh, in a pound. Oh. Well. 454. Well, we'll go with it. <laughs> we'll go with it. 226 grams. Uh, well, the proportions are all off. Throw it in the trash. Throw it in the trash. Let me seal up this meat real quick. Uh, Got to move this bad boy. So we can get our foil. Where's our foil? There's our foil. Hell yeah, Texas Tough, baby. If the camera... Yeah. Texas Tough foil. The only kind of foil I'll ever use. Tell you what. I ripped it. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. 
These are variant, various amounts of lean and fat. Looks like the veal's 80% lean, 20% fat. I think the... I think the beef was 85%. Might be too much. I don't know. This foil's out! I don't know if this is going to be enough. Oh, there's only one more thing to cover. Yeah, scrunch that up nice. Nice and sealed. Good. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. You couldn't see what I was doing the whole time. Put my meat back in the bag. Put my meats... Back in the bags. Back in the fridge. Okay. All right, add the rest of the meatball things. What time is it? What time is it? Okay, 3.37, okay. All right. I will properly clean this scale in a bit, but just for now. Covering raw meat with foil, nice. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Um, let's see, oh. Right, the uh, recipe here. I did wash my fingies. Um, okay. Cheese, eggs, garlic, parsley, salt, pepper. So, one cup freshly grated Romano cheese. This is the expensive stuff, man. This is expensive stuff. Pecorino Romano. Imported from Italy, baby. This was eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. I don't know. I'm gonna get a chopping board. Use the big cup. The big cup. Um, where's our grater? There it is. Dude, grating uh terrifies me, honestly. I always feel like I'm going to just slice parts of my finger off. Here we go. Ooh! Smells good. Um, so I'm supposed to eat the wrapping, right? <laughs> More flavor? Something like that? It's okay, you'll only do it once. Dude, this wrapping... I'm just going to cut this off because it's terrible. Why you even import it? It doesn't... Uh, it doesn't U.S. Sw swim in local... Oh, oh, why do you even import it? Doesn't U.S. swim in local cheese anyway? Italian cheese is not local to the U.S. This is the only thing, I guess. I, to my knowledge, I think Italian means from Italy. I don't know. This knife is probably good enough. Thanks for giving me more work, Italy. That's not gonna work. I'm going to the Japanese knife. There we go. Ugh. A whole ass side, man. I don't want to cut off too much cheese. It's, a, it's expensive cheese, man. That was also my nickname in high school. Expensive cheese, man. There we go. Look at that waste. Look at that waste. Awful. All right, let's shred. I'm just gonna put this in here for now. I'm now. Now I'm starting to rush. We've been so relaxed this whole time, and now I'm thinking about like, all right, grate me up a cup. Grate me up a cup of that Romano cheese. Here, I'll do it this way so you guys can see maybe. And before everybody's like, that's not how you grate cheese. I, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm doing my best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need one cup. That's quite a bit. 
faster. Great faster. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to use those measuring. Uh, oh, they're still here. They're still here. Somewhere. One cup is that much, huh? That might be enough. I was going to try and like slide it off the counter into here, but there you go. That's good. Freshly grated Romano. Hey, yo, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. to all the work being done to raise money for a great cause. Heck yeah. Thank you very much. Woo. Cheese complete. I will, um, damn it. I have to keep using this, this drawer. Here we go. I'll just get some of my, my Texas tough, uh, Ziploc zip bags. It's gotta be Texas tough. Don't give me any, none of that. Florida tough. Boo shit. All right. Okay. Two eggs. Two cloves of garlic. Let's get egg. Egg. Starting to move faster now. I don't know if I can break this on the side of this thing. Oh, I have two bowls in here, I just realized. Wait, you gotta do it the pro way, right? They break the egg on the other egg. Hey, that's pretty good. Egg. But now I only have one egg. How the f on the counter? Yeah, actually not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> all right. Okay, my phone turned off. Now I gotta wash my hands if I don't want egg all over my phone. So much hand washing. I am pro chef now. Yeah, the bowl just had a rounded edge, so I don't think it was gonna work well for breaking the egg though. Uh, thank you for whoever resubbed. I appreciate you very much. Sorry, I can't really see the dashboard or nothing. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, this is a, uh, okay, all right. Um, uh, two cloves of garlic, minced. Let's put the eggs away. Doom, doom, boom, 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 boom. Man, we got fresh garlic here. I don't know how fresh. It's been here for a while, but it's not sprouting yet. yet. Let's see here. Let's see if we can't just get this started. What is your best way of breaking open a uh, a head of garlic, chat? Not not a not a clove, but getting into the. I guess it's not that far to get in here. Is this shit sprouting? We're only doing two cloves here. Let me trash some of this stuff. Well, I use a knife to smash the the clove. You know, once you're in there. But I guess you just peel it. It's not very far. I don't usually do that part of it. Make sure this is all peeled. All signed and peeled. Sorry, I know I'm off cam. I just, I'm hovering over my trash can while I peel this, this garlic off. The garlic skin. Oh, there's more. So many layers. So many. Oh, I am on the cam? Oh, okay. There's a hidden final layer here. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna... We got one of those, you know, garbage cans. You can wave your hand over and it opens, but... I don't want that. I want it to stay open, brother. Oh, this is the part where you crush it, huh, I guess. Yeah, I'm at the clove part. <clears throat> We're only doing two right now, so let me grab another. Ah! And 
as is tradition. We smash clove with sword. Yep, that's smashed. That's real sm <laughs> That one's real smashed. All right. Pretty dang smashed, if you ask me. Kind of all flew over here. Now I gotta pick out the skin. Skin picked. What about you? Yeah, you got smashed nicely. Excellent. Cool. Um, wait, where's my other knife? There it is. I just, I'm just throwing, throwing things everywhere now as I'm starting to get frantic about, um, about the timing of things. I probably could put full unchopped garlic in here. Okay, you like this knife technique? Thank you. I can see what you're saying and how it's the best knife technique you've ever seen. I appreciate that. This skin. Yep, yep, just let the garlic fly everywhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good, they're not sprouting. I like, oh wait, kind of. A little bit of stem, it's fine. Uh-oh. Skin. Skin! It's fine. It, it's fine. We just... Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Garlic. Garlic, go. Some of that is not even chopped. It'll sim... It'll simmer down. Give some... Nice big chunk of garlic in one bite. Uh... <laughs> what else? Oh, it does say minced. It does say minced. Okay, good. One and a half tablespoons chopped Italian flat leaf parsley. Give me that parsley. Some fresh ass parsley. It's way too much. We were going to buy some basil, but it's like, if you want to buy, this is also just way too much. This was the size of the parsley that we could buy. You know, they assume that you're going to like cook other stuff someday. How much, how much are we doing? One and a half tablespoons. Yeah. That's all right. Put the rest of this away for now. Get in there. Get in there. All right. I'm going to cut the stems. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you for whoever just resubbed. Ooh, man, that is fragrant. I like it. I like it. He's very sharp knife. All right, uh... What is it? One and a half tablespoons? Let's see. Ah, shit. That's like one tablespoon. Ah! Uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. It'll all add up, right? That's fine. Excellent. Salt and ground black pepper to taste. All right, our grandpa, our grandfather friend did 32 shakes. I'm sure it's fine. We'll throw some salt as well. We'll figure out flavoring later. Don't worry about it. All right, that's enough. Um, one and a half cups. Oh wait, first of all, two cups. Bread crumb. Where's these? Swoop. Thank you for the resub, Advanced Dan. I caught you. 
I did not make my own breadcrumbs. Taste it, you coward. Yeesh. Well, it's not mixed yet, anyways. <laughs> okay, two cups. Two cups of breadcrumbs. It's quite a lot. Italian breadcrumbs, I'll tell you what. Yoo! Yee woo! All right, things are starting to get hectic. That's a lot of breadcrumbs. Uh, one and a half cups lukewarm water. One cup of olive oil. Let me just measure the olive oil here real quick. One cup of olive oil, right? Blech. One whole ass cup. That's a lot of oil, man. This is legit Greek ass extra virgin olive oil. Whoops. This thing just ejaculated all over my kitchen countertop. It's okay. Oil. Oh my god, really? All right, and then one and a half cups lukewarm water what that's so much one cup is way too much these are the best meatballs dude you don't you don't fucking skimp on on the best meatballs all right that's how much oil there's a lot of oil okay all right Oops. 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 Don't put the... You don't put the oil in. <laughs> um, cheese, eggs, garlic, parsley, salt, and pepper. That's it. Not even water. <clears throat> um, these are not gonna bind. Oh no! Oh, wait, add breadcrumbs and slowly mix in water. That's okay. Uh, yeah, not the oil though. The oil, nope. Oh my god! All right, this is okay. Let's see what happens. This is not. Guys, this is not. This is, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is what ha happens when you start to go fast. Well, let's just, let's squish it up and see what happens. So don't put any oil on the pan, right? Cause, oh my God. It's, it's so wet. What if I put more breadcrumbs? Who boy, who boy, who boy, who boy. All right, chat, let's figure this out together. What do you think, more breadcrumbs? There's some chunks of meat in there. <laughs> this is tragic. Uh... I feel like I'm doing a technical challenge on Great British Baking Show, and I misread one step. Hold on, let's see. What do you guys think? More meat, more crumbs. I do have more meat. Yeah, that's true. Let's try that. More meat, more crumbs. Um, just double it. Let's put more meat. More crumbus. I guess I'm just gonna throw in the rest of the. Maybe not all of it. Let's see. This balance. I'm throwing in more pork. All right, it's gonna be more pork than expected. Pork. Yep. Yeah, paper on all. Paper and all. We'll do. How many breadcrumbs was it total? Two cups. I'm gonna add another cup. 
Maybe just under a little, another cup. A scant cup, as they say. Let's see what happens. Come on, dry it up, dry it up. It's better, it's definitely better. God, the oil, dude. Consistency is definitely better. <gasps> That's a good sign. That means it's like sticking to the bottom of the bowl, you know? It's a good sign. Yep, see, see, that's, that's, uh, yeah, nice and sticky. That oil is just for flavor. Hmm, I might put more, I might put the rest of the meat. How long are we on the, okay. Still 20 minutes on bread, right? Yeah, 415. Let's see. Can this form a ball? I don't think so. No, it's like two. All right, a little bit more meat, a little more bread. That should do it. That should do it. Right? Right? Yeah, I think one more egg as well, yeah. Because we're going to have to, like, increase the rest of the... rest of the uh, yeah. ingredients along with it. I'll go ahead and bring back some of the parsley. Maybe another garlic clove. Can't go wrong. Can never have too much garlic. And I got cloves right here. Imagine paying attention to recipes though. Like, what tiff but that should do. Can you imagine? <clears throat> Back in you go. Out you come. <laughs> I mean, the good news is like, we, we, are, we were already gonna have way too much meatball meat. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna eye it. Okay. Egg. Egg. Egg for binding, right? Binding agent, they call them. Like 007. Binding of agent. More garlic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could make a meatloaf. With ciabatta on the side, yeah. It's okay, we're, we're recovering. I, I think this will be good, don't worry. All right, egg is there. Done with crumb. Got some parsley here. Chop stem. Don't want stem in there. I think. I don't know. Maybe you want stems for parsley, but I don't. I don't. I don't want none of that. This is all just guesses, basically. But that's okay. That's how we do it, Lobo style, you know? All right. We, we were light on the parsley before, so... We'll catch up now. There you go. Smells so fresh. So fresh. Chop it, chop it, chop it. Okay. I cut my finger off. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. 
I'm just going to put the stuff that looks well chopped in there. Good. Garlic. Let me clear this. Clove, brother. I'm just going to use a regular knife now. Smush. Such calming music for such a Monka S situation at this point. But nah, it's fine. It's fine. We panicked a little, but recovery, you know. It'll be fine. Get the skin out of here. Nobody wants that skin. Unless you do. This is a nice little garlic parsley medley at this point. Okay. Um, probably a little bit more salt and pepper, and then I think we're good, yeah? Okay. I'm gonna use garlic pepper. Remember, can't have too much garlic. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, did we miss anything? Let's check the recipe. 13 minutes on that final uh, rest, that final proof. Um, I think that's it. Oh, cheese. All right. <laughs> we'll do a little bit more cheese. Cheesy. More oil. Yeah. Shut up. Just kidding. <laughs> More oil, of course. All right, give me the cheese. That egg in there. Grate it up. Oh, shit. Uneven. Well, I it. This ain't bacon after all. This is cooking. We're cooking. Can't have too much cheese, that's neither. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> Sounds like pilot wings music. Excuse me. Squeeze that meat. Oh, we're going to. You ready? I don't think you're ready for this. So much cheese. Um Parsley, eggs, cheese, salt, pepper. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh. Squeege. That is going to make a lot of meatballs, dudes. Should have used a heavier bowl, I suppose. Make sure we're getting all the oil and egg from the bottom. Oil? Yeah, it makes it taste better. Squeeze. I did add breadcrumbs, I remember. Just thinking. Thinking about things we can do to improve our consistency, our stick, stick j Stickage? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, they're soft. Oh, they're soft. Bredge. Bredge. There it is. That's our final. That's going to catch us up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, some Mario. Nice and relaxing. Oh, and I just realized the rain sound effects in the background, too. It 
Okay, so they might not be meat balls, you know. They might be meat pa patties. I could elongate them, make little meat um, flats, meat fingers to put. Oh God. Okay. Scroll with my L bow now. All right. I think this is about as good as we're going to get. Let's see. They're delicate. They're delicate. But they're balls in my hand. And they're... Jesus. All right. Um, I'm going to wash right now. Set up for the... Um, Set up for... You know what? I might, now that they're all prepped and ready, I might hold off until we do... Uh, until we do our bridge and get it going in the oven. Because the bridge doesn't need to be, like, immediately fresh. Bridge can sit. I don't like the idea of the the meatballs and the sauce sitting while we finish up bread. So I prefer to do those fresh. <clears throat> so let's just get the, uh, the pan ready for meatballs. And then as soon as bread goes in, we go back, we cook meatballs. We do, uh, we do sauce and then voila, everything's perfect, right? Heat olive oil in a large skillet. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Do, 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 boom. Now, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to borrow the C920 to stare at the oven while, uh... yeah, we might take out this large view of the kitchen and we'll swap to Oven view and stovetop view. Wow, we do that. C920, dude. They're still they're still poggers. They're still poggers. I don't know what you're yelling about. C920. Um, we probably don't need as much oil. <laughs> oh god, I'm just putting a little dribble of oil here. We'll coat it. You know what? I'm even gonna paint it. Where's our bowl? Here's our oil paint. Auto shutdown initiated. I'm sorry. Uh. Hello. <laughs> can you can you guys hear me still? Uh. That's lightly. You can. I think it's the headphones. Wait. Auto shutdown canceled. Oh wait, no, never mind. Ah, I hit the power button, and it was like, oh, you're still there. I see. Nice. Good shit. I don't think they're... They might not be running low. I think it's just time stuff. I don't know why the... That audio plays through the computer, but... Um... Yeah, I definitely don't want to be in the middle of doing my meat when it's time for bredge. So let's prep for bredge. All right, we're gonna prep for bredge. And to do that, I'm gonna clear this section over here. <clears throat> and pull open bredge-a-pee. Bredge recipe. Get to where we're at. Okay. Adjust the oven racks. We have done that. Heat oven to 450. Let me make sure that that is the case. It's, yes, it is at 450. Hopefully that doesn't have an auto shutdown. All right. I think we're going to do this actually straight onto the marble here. Or 
whatever countertop is. I don't know. The, the not marble. Okay. Um, get some flour. Now, yeah. I'm going to use bread flour for this. The recipe only calls for bread flour. Don't forget to add another liter of oil to the pan so the heat travels through. Another... L Is that a joke? Joking? We're going to dust here. We're going to dust liberally. The guy said there's no such thing as too much flour. The excess flour will just fall off. All right, so we got nice and floury. Um... Using two well-floured bench scrapers. Well, I'm going to use one. We'll do it live. Um, huh? Yeah, the oven's just preheated. It's okay. Huh? Nothing. I mean, I've got the pizza stone in the oven. That's what we're cooking the bread on, so it's probably what it smells. I didn't smell anything, though. Remember your binder. What about my, uh... My trapper keeper? Uh, liberal just top of the dough with the flour using one two plum, blah, 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 To form a square. No pressure on top of the dough. Cut the dough in half. Gently shape into each into half loaves. Uh, each half into loaves. Invert a large baking sheet. All right, so this is where the transfer happens. Let me grab, grab this. So they want us to use a baking sheet, put parchment paper on it, and then we put the loaves on there, and then we transfer from the parchment to the uh, pizza stone, which is now in the oven. The original, the original recipe says use, uh, don't steal the flour. Uh, uses just an upside down cookie sheet, but we got a stone, so. I didn't turn the stove on. It's, it's not on at all. I poured the oil and then swapped to bread mode. Uh, we're gonna dust the tops of it. Uh, using most minutes, uh, slide them under both ends of the dough and transfer the dough. Compete with the remaining loaf. Shape into a rectangle. Oh, we're gonna dr we're gonna let it rest thirty more minutes. <laughs> Leonard is waking. After this, thirty more minutes. Needs more oil. Yes. Let's get this going then, and that's okay. That's fine. Good. We have more time to work with. Okay. Um, right. Let the dough slide out of the bowl onto the counter. Be very gentle, it says. Work it with your hands as little as possible. Come on, Leonard. Almost there. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Good boy. All right. <clears throat> Four fifteen. Time to get up, Leonard. Time to get fucking cut in half. Dust the top. Using two well-floured bench shapers. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Sorry, just one. I will flour it though. Let's, I'm just gonna shove this into the flour. I presume that's how you flour it. If it even can be. It's a freaking metal surface. Um, that was charitably done, dear friend. Hey. Cuck Vansa. Who is and that? And have fun cooking smile. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. Oh, Noku Woof. The hundred dollars to St. Jude and Carissa was the donation before. Twenty-five dollars. Thank you so much. 
This says, uh, form a square. So I get why they want, you want to have two, right? You squeeze. My hand is a dough scraper, okay? That's a square. I've seen squares. Um, cut the dough in half down the middle of the square. Gently shape into loaves. All right. Okay. Gently shape into loaves. That's a tall loaf. Um, use your fingertips to gently poke the surface of each loaf as you shape it into a rectangle. Poke? I don't want to poke it. Uh... Poke it. I'm not gonna poke it. Is that what a loaf looks like, guys? Like kind of pointed corners, right? That's what I've seen before. I don't know. All right. They want you to rectangle. Is that what they said? Rectangle. Hmm. Because the ones I've seen, they did. They did pointed corners. But anyways, okay, now we transfer. I'm just going to use a spatula. Spatula city. A well-flowered spatula at that. The close one has a tail. Thanks for the resub. And we're going to transfer this way, so I need it to be like that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They're, uh, they're a little close. Maybe they should be longer. I don't want to fudge with it too much. I'm going to kick all the air, all the air ass out of it. Um... There's not enough room on this thing, but the the pizza thing is also pretty dang skinny. Oops. I don't really stick to it, just make them longer, yeah. Pinch the paper, that's not what we're doing. But see, like, this is where the edges of the cookie sheet are, so. Yeah, I guess. Lengthier. They said don't apply pressure to the top, so I don't know how I, how else I can get it to go lengthier. I don't know. I might rotate them. Let me see how the pizza stone looks. Turn on the light here. Um, pizza stone. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't just turn the pizza stone. I'm going to do that. It's going to be a... Right now, the pizza stone is lengthwise, but I'm going to rotate it. I'm just going to grab it with my bare hands. No, it's long enough the other way. Okay. All right, done. Done. Now, this way, I can rotate... the loaves like this. Stop it. Stop it. I'm killing the air, aren't I? There. And then we'll transfer this way. All right? Um. Mm-hmm. Is he both going to get the butt? Cover with a lint-free cloth to prevent the loaves from drying out. Proof in a draft-free place until puffy and the surface develops small bubbles. Is a... Uh, is it paper towel? Uh, a lint-free cloth? 
No, it needs... Well... Let me see if... Hold on. Red cloth on the way. Let's use a dish towel. I don't know. Yeah. That's okay. These are dirty. She's going to get a clean one. <clears throat> I don't want to put, you know, these have been cleaned or used to wipe. We'll use something else. Okay. But this is just about ready. This is going to rest for 30 more minutes. Final rest. The final rest of Leonard. I don't think... Uh, I sounded distant even though his mic is on him. I took my headset off because otherwise I can't hear, so. <laughs> Where's that cloth? There it is! Perfect! <laughs> Nicely done. Good night, Leonard. I will put you in your resting place. Right here. That will drop you everywhere. And you are going to rest until... 4.50 is what we're going to do. All right. Yeah, whatever. There he is, resting. Until 4.50. Now, back to this nightmare. Okay, it's not a nightmare. It's, it's saved. We're saved. Let's go back to the meatballs. I want to have a... I'm going to put this here. Bring the camera. I'm gonna want a spot I'll be able to um boom. get this chair out of here no more sitting around in this place it's pretty good I cleaned my grill for you guys all right so I hope y'all appreciate that it's pretty nice and shiny there's still like some resties and stuff um. Mm-hmm. 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 Something for when the meatballs are done. I'll just get a big plate to place finished meatballs on. Put salt. I don't know where salt was here. I think. <clears throat> All right, meatball recipe. I think we're just browning them, basically, right? Okay. Heat olive oil in large skillet. Add meatballs in batches. Cook until browned on all sides. Slightly crisp and cooked through. About 10 to 15 minutes. Drain on paper towels. So I'm going to get some paper towels. Sounds good to me. Y'all ready for some... Remember what Pascal said. Like a boss. Roll them like a boss. Taste the meat. Jesus, I do not want to do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's heat this up. Let's get it going. All right. All right, it, the heat begins. Little spatula. There's no way there's enough salt. Well, we're going to have... Uh, Delicious tasting marinara sauce to put it in, all right? Might want to drain the meat. I'll drain your meat. Fry off a little and taste it. That's a good call. A waste, though, if we use up all the oil doing that. I'll do a first batch, all right? All right, here. I'm going to fry it. I'll, I'll do like a mini ball for tests, okay? All right. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's a ball. Right? It's a ball. Like a boss. I think this is like a boss. If I was a boss, 
Do my hands <laughs> making my hands so oily? It's okay. My hands are getting rid of the Auto oil. Auto shutdown initiated. Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Don't do that. Where's my oily? Auto shutdown canceled. That's right. Damn it! Stop it, lady. Let's see. I this oil is probably not hot enough yet, but let's go. I'm gonna try and wipe off some of this oil. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's sizzling, it's sizzling. I'm going to take my headphones off. Oh god. For now, you guys should hopefully be able to still hear me. I want to hear the sizzling. I want to hear it. Auto shutdown. Who's talking to Lobos? It's my mom. Not enough sizzle sounds? It's not very loud right now. Did you hear that? <laughs> Death to No? Okay, it's not very loud right now. Hang in there, it'll probably when we rotate. And when we put more meat, alright, that'll be louder. More sizzling. Okay, nice and browned on that side. You can see, yeah. If I focus you over here. Maybe you can't see. Ooh, thought it was falling for a second. Needs more heat. It's it's pretty much max. It just it, it just hasn't warmed up yet. Remember, this is our test ball. Sizzle more, Daddy. Meets back on the menu, boys. What is this music? Cooking needs heavy metal. Well, four hours of bread prep definitely does not need heavy metal. Oil Tycoon Testy Ball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Might be tough to cook through the ball on the stovetop. Yeah, we'll see. That's what this recipe calls for, though. The best meatballs. Just says browns it on all, all sides. Four hours of bread prep needs yodeling. Oh, shit. I'm going to roll on the new Honkai Star Rail banner. Uh, if I boot it up again, probably. <laughs> Alright. Starting to sizzle a bit more. I know I'm smashing it. I'm just, I'm in a hurry. There we go. Oh my gosh. This is like opened up pretty much. I'm rushing it. I'm rushing it. Cook often? No. Maybe use tongs for flipping balls. Yeah, I got tongs. Tongs are just gonna squish them. At least with this, I can just roll them. But if I uh, to put enough pressure to pick them up, it's just gonna splat them open. Let's see? I'm just trying to get it to like. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll do a I'll do a heat test as well. Thermometer, meat thermometer, just to see how. Ooh. Let's see what is our is it pork? Pork is probably our okay ground meat. Yeah, seventy one Celsius, one sixty Fahrenheit. One sixty. Trying to do it on this side here. It's just about there. Just about there. I want it to like a little bit just on this. so oily chat what do you think be honest what do you think more oil maybe <sighs> no this is our test meatball goober if we need more salt then we can add it to the whole thing instead of having to salt everything after the fact 
I don't think the middle is going to be cooked, honestly. I mean, it's the kind of thing where it'll cook a bit afterwards anyways, but if I'm going to do a quick temperature test on this, like... That is browned on all sides. Okay, not all sides. This one right here. This side. Come on. There you go. Ah! Y yep. Yep. Yep, there you go. Close enough. Where's your transparent streamer? Uh, he's upstairs. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna put this onto here. We're gonna do a temp test. Whoa. I was holding the thermometer temp in there, so it, it kind of got hot in there. I don't want any misleading data. All right. Clean this off. Here we go. Temperature test is... One... Okay, we want 160. Auto shutdown initiated. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it must be running out. Of Auto shutdown canceled. It must be running out. All right, we want 160, and it's like 136. But you know what? For a taste test, it's fine. For a taste test, it's fine. Um, and I'm just—I'll just taste the outside, really. This is what it looks like. Give me, give me a look, see. Not pink on the inside. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it more. Um. No, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty dang good. Let's go. Let's go, Meatball Mania. Not that big. We're gonna do smaller balls. I want to put more balls into the sub than less. I think it's good, especially with the marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. Here we go. We're going. Now we got some sizzle action going on. I think we're gonna have to make sure that the sauce really shines. At this point, these are different sizes. I expected as much from thee. Yo, gifted subs from Nokuwa. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the gift. The gifts. The gift of subs. The funny thing is, this is this is gonna be like all we need right now for meatball subs. Like, that's it. And we have a huge, huge bowl of meat and stuff. But we could use that in a different way for another meal. Add butter. It's the answer to everything. Actually, we haven't used any butter, and we're not using any butter today. Impressive. Impressive. No. Take this other ball, which didn't cook all the way through necessarily. All right, let's see. Whoa, a little more than brown, buddy. Okay, it's gonna need it. I don't know if you can hear the sizzling now. It's starting to sizzle like mad. I would prefer if you didn't... Just... There you go. Whoop. Whoop. Alright. Ideally, other side, and then... Oh, that's fine. Uh, I think I actually need less heat. They're burning that quickly. 
So I'll put on medium. I don't even think the recipe says how hot. What, how much heat, but if they're cooking that fast, they're supposed to be on here for like 10 minutes. Get cooked all the way through. It's like mini hamburgers, hamburger patties. Low and slow, yeah, for sure. Or a cup of cold water in the pan to cool it down real quick. That sounds like a bad idea. What's up, Nijako? How's it going? Oh, I'm reading your rat. Oh my gosh, Swix. Remember to keep your teeth. It might be worth money someday. When people stop having teeth. Start using teeth as a currency. Hello. This is... Maybe at this point, once they've got two solid sides, use a couple of tongs to position them as desired. There we go. But you, the tongs are still kind of smashing stuff out of them. They're just a bit soft, you know. Or like little burgers. Okay. Good balance. Oh wait, you. Oh, it's smash, smash. Come on. You're gonna be meat cubes by the end of this. Doesn't need to be pretty. It's gonna be in the bread, covered in sauce. How long on our uh, bread rest? Our bread rest. Twelve minutes to go. Ball music. Excuse me. Oh, that's a big boy. Stay. Yeah. I don't know why the recipe was doing this instead of just baking them. <laughs> baking them seems way easier. We never moved this guy. That might be burned. Like just baking, dude. If I make meatballs again, I'm just gonna bake them. And probably not pour oil into the meat mix when you're out Auto processing. shutdown initiated. Did that say auto shut down? Son of a bitch. Huh? Auto shut down cancelled. You know what? I don't really need audio at this point, I guess. As long as the microphone's still working, that's all that matters. Not sure about this whole browning every side. That's what I was just saying, you know what I mean? Like, I just, just bake them next time. I have to tend to every single ball. Sure, every side gets browned. And they're getting there, though. They're getting there. Come on. Yeah, that one's popped open. No! It's too big. It's my fault. Made it too big. Balance for me. Balance. Don't disrupt the balance. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Anybody been timing? <laughs> what are you making there? Meatballs. Meat balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what? This one's becoming two meat balls. Two meat patties. That's a good indication of the insides, although this one is bigger, so... Alright. 
Meet Patty Dongus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My goal is to not poison anyone today. So. I've at least got a meat thermometer, you know. A bit burned? No, I don't think so. I mean, depending on how, how cooked you want them to be. We did lower the heat, though, because I was like, yeah, these are browning a little fast. But we gotta get those middles. Without those middles. Let's see, I'm gonna start taking some of these off though. We'll check the centers and see how round one, this one stays. Mm -hmm. Curious about the big ones, the big ones are. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, again, you're not going to see the ball. It's going to be on the sandwich, okay? Seems good. Pretty dang good. Nice little meat patty. Ah, so I went downhill after I poured oil into the whole mix. It's all right. They have kindled the first flame. My best Ramsey impression. Oh, what is that? You call that a meatball? Fuck you, mate. Fuck your meatball. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, when were you supposed to add that much oil? Uh, never. You were not supposed to add oil to the the meatball mix, which is what I did. So what if they're a little bit oily? It's okay. Um, we're gonna do one more round here. More round. And then it'll be bredge, bredge time. I gotta make these smaller. Although, with the lower heat, it should be a bit better. Hey, we saved the meatballs, so okay, guys? We saved them. We saved them. Oil detected. Hey, hey, hey. Who gave you an oil scanner? Those are illegal around here. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Yeah, just one more right now. We're not making all these for sure. For sure, Zeus. Look how oily the hands. Mm. Shiny. Oh, they're juicy on the inside. They they are they're not as cooked on the inside, that's for sure. They just need to be cooked enough though. I'm about to heat test. Running out of hand soap there. Reverting to dish soap. Dish slash hand soap. It'll cleanse. It'll clean. Gotta insult the food when talking like Ramsey. It's a pile of shit. This here. It's a pile of shit. Oh my god, it popped. Gotta have my pops. Let's see how kind of attempts we got here. Boing. Swing. Hello. Digital thermometer, please. If you would. Hey! 165. Okay, a little overdone that, honestly. It was going a little bit higher. But hey, cooked enough. That's what matters. Cooked enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Flippies. Yeah, they definitely, I mean, they lose their shape very quickly. <laughs> we all know why that is. Where's the tomato sauce? That's coming. That's coming. We're making the meatballs first. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna finish off, once we got the sauce, I'm gonna cook the meatballs a little bit more in the sauce. Not too much, just kinda to reheat them since we're cooking the meatballs first. We still gotta wait for, wait for bread to bake and all that. Um, okay, four more minutes on bread. I'm excited for the bread though. Bread's gone well so far, I think. Not your favorite onion sauce. Uh. Oh shit, this is cooking on stream? No way. Is he doing like a cooking stream? I'm curious what he is cooking, if so. The bread dough looks great, yeah. That's, that's the thing, honestly, that was the main thing, right? Was the bread. Get some bread going. I had to think of like, you know, what, what can we do with this bread? And I was like, well, we had just watched uh, Soy's vegan sub video. And I was like, well, let's do a meatball sub. Vegan meatball sub. Well, this one's not vegan, but you know, you know what I mean. I'll smash it. S I'm smash that. Oh. What kind of fucking idiot? Puts the oil into the meatball mix. <sighs> Where's the sauce? Not yet. Not yet. Hamlox are doing a 2v2 cooking stream in LA. He has to cook octopus. What? <laughs> Damn. Nutties. So hopefully when we reveal the, the dough, as it is, it will be bubbly? Because it's supposed to be bubbly, I think. Let me turn on this freaking fan. Fange. Haven't had the, the fan on this whole time. You dip what in oil? Nice bones. Auto shutdown initiated. You. Did it just... I'm not, I'm not gonna pay attention to the headset anymore. I didn't, I was wondering how long these would last, you know. Normally our cooking streams aren't that long, but it's because we don't, we don't make bread from scratch, so. Come on then, there we go. <laughs> they just freaking open up as you flip them. It's whatever, it's whatever. Yeah, who the fuck, who the fuck's meatball recipe was this? I'm gonna write them a letter. <clears throat> you tend to open up too when you get flipped. Oh shit. It's yours? Bean tea? This is your, your recipe? Oof. I'm hot. Nice and hot over here. I'm gonna, I have not had some water in some time. Let's drink. My computer beeped. As long as you can still hear me, that's fine. As long as you can still hear me, I'm happy. And if you say I can't hear you, I know you're a damn liar. A damn ass liar. Nice. Okay, it's like one more side-ish. It's like a corner here that's not, but... Alright. <laughs> What's up, K-Nova? How's it going? Use the pad, Luke. Just shake it to cook the meatballs uniformly and keep them round. Ooh, that's a good call. That's a good call. But then there's a bunch of oil in here. I don't... Yeah, they're, they're beyond round at this point, so... I think... Let this cook here a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll probably call it quits. That little side there. Yep. 
All right. Okay. Uh, bowls. Place bowls on here. Let them drain. Uh, anybody else need their balls drained today? Just let me know. While I'm at it, might as well. All right, I'm going to check temp temps on these as well. Um, <clears throat> not you. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, insides. Let's see. One forty-one. Okay, that's fine. And one forty-five. It's still climbing. It's like one fifty-ish, but we're gonna cook him in the sauce as well, so they'll finish him off. Okay, y'all ready for bread? Yeah, we can make a big meat pie afterwards <laughs> with the rest or something. Okay. Oh, I can still hear. Hmm. All right, let's see. Beep, beep. Let's see, bubbles? I mean, I see a bubble. Yeah, I see a bubble here as well. The bubbles are not all over the place. <clears throat> the bubbles are in the bridge. All right, let's read what we're doing because this is going to be it. This is going to be it. Oven is preheated. Pizza stone is nice and hot. Final steps here. This is the one that I've been thinking about all day about uh you know i'm supposed to transfer and i can totally see just throwing all the bread onto the floor okay we're gonna spray the loaves lightly with water uh no this isn't the detailed instructions hold on there we go have one cup of ice ready um, this cup is currently full of oil. I'm just going to get a glass for it. Let me get this ice. Okay. This is a glass of ice. Illegal. Okay. Mist the loaves with water. I've been waiting for this moment. We've got this bad boy here just for that purpose. Mist. Beep, beep. I'm sorry for those sounds. I apologize. This is a kind of a small spray bottle, so I'm just making sure I'm misting enough. Okay. Um, carefully slide the parchment with loaves on the heated sheet in the oven using a jerking motion. Oh, God. Well, before I fail, I want to make sure I have a good camera angle on this so <clears throat> everybody auto shutdown canceled okay all right i didn't even do anything head headset all right i'm gonna pull the because the pizza stone's gonna retain some heat i'm not too worried about the oven losing too much temperature but i'm gonna pull it out then i gotta walk over Grab the pan with the bread on it. Transfer. Then run over, grab the ice, chuck the ice into the... Um, into the, uh, the pan there. And then close it. And then we're good to go. Yeah? I think. All right, so here we go. Here we go. There's our pizza stone, right?
Oh my god! Amazing. Perfect. First try every time. First try every time. There goes the bread. Here's where we're checking our ice. I'm gonna close this and close for moisture. Boom! Okay. 25 minutes is what it says for cook time. I'm gonna, there's a light on. I'm gonna point you guys at the oven so y'all can monitor. Let me bring you down. Streamer has legs! More at 11. I don't know how well this is gonna work for y'all, but we'll see. Just don't cook my DSLR camera. Nice reflection. Nice reflection. Uh, maybe if I move though. Let's see, how's it look? Yeah, you can see definitely. <laughs> Who wears shoes inside? Somebody who's gonna be standing for five hours straight on a hard, uh, on a hard surface. Take your shoes off. No, <clears throat> not at all. Um, yeah. Oh, Leo went by. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's focus. Um, I'm gonna put 22 minutes on a timer. We can turn this off. We can turn this off. And then, oh, right. I was gonna use this other camera for that, actually. So let me do that. Hold on. You can look at my floor and cabinets. Cabinet. Uh-oh, I didn't plan for this one to be long distance, did I? All right, whatever. I'm gonna have to stick with this one. Yeah. Let me see if I can get closer. Here we go. What about from this, this side? No. <laughs> Glare. Glarege. Whatever. It's gonna have to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Um, so, I'll do some of this over here so you can at least kind of see some. Huh. Let me clear this flower out. Just gonna s Cause we're about to have to crush, hand crush some tomatoes. Some Dan, damn San Marzano tomatoes. Crushed ya. The hell was that sound? Leo again. He's real he's real curious. Uh, they're both curious. I mean they're cats, so. What else are they gonna be? <sighs> Alright. This will do for now. Bread flour. Get this flour off my hands. Otherwise, I'll turn into a flour. Mmm, that's a good call. Let's see. Let's see if we can't make a reflection blocker here or something. Yeah, yeah I, d I don't know. It'll work a little better. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. It's fine. Auto shutdown initiated. Jesus. I did not set a timer. How long has it been? Probably five minutes. I'm going to set for five. I'd rather, much rather look early than later. So we're going to go five. Uh, let's do 18 minutes from now. It was worth a try. Let me try. This is some of that Zelda music. Some of that heckin' Zelda music. I'm taking off the headphones again. I gotta be able to hear my alarm also when it goes off. And it's time for sauce. Sauce, as they say. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up on here. <laughs> 
uh, as soon as I started setting up for the stream, uh, I realized that the marinara sauce is like New York Times, and whenever you load the page, it's like, subscribe now for more food, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. Um, so, what you can do is you can disable JavaScript on the page, and then it doesn't do that. Ha, 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 ha. Suck it. Suck it, brother. Pour tomatoes into a large bowl and crush with your hands. I've got a can opener. I, f I remember seeing a video where there's a revolutionary way where you're like, okay, I've been using the can opener incorrectly my entire goddamn life. This can opener sucks ass, actually. It is not clamped down far enough to open the can. Uh-oh. I have another. Do we... Do we has another? Um, there's always the... the manual opening part of the thing. Where's the chat, chat go? More like a can't opener. That's a big bread, yeah. Turn it 90 degrees. Is that what it was? Yeah, like... Yeah, that's what it was. But... It's not working. Shit butts. Can't you do this? No. <laughs> oh no. Uh, one of these days you can get an electric can opener. That's a very good idea. Second type of can opener that opens the side and lets you refill the cans. The fuck? I don't know if we have a working can opener. What do I do then? Will I just stab the... The MacGuffin out of it. He's a, he's a bread knife. For later. Bread knife. Um, let me look through more. Like we knew this, and we bought a new one at one point. Yeah. Okay. Alternate ways to open can openers. Chocolate syrup can opener where you poke it. Um, use Zweihander. <laughs> Hold on. How to open a can without a can opener. Let's see what Google says. Easiest way to open a can without a can opener. Shot. Auto shutdown canceled. A lady crying. I'm just fast forwarding through. There's a spoon. They've got a spoon. What? I think this is a meme video, but I'm not listening to it, so I don't know. It's showing a bunch of movie clips, and... <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. A non-video. Best method, use a spoon. Um, grip the bowl, i.e. not the handle of a sturdy spoon, in the palm of your hand so your four fingers are firmly grasping it. Tip of your index finger should rest near where the bowl meets the handle. You should sit inside the curve of the bowl, which stabilizes your grip and able to more easily control the tool. Um, with firm pressure, vigorously rub the tip of the spoon back and forth along the crimped edge of the can. Keep rubbing until the metal thins. Eventually, after a few minutes, oh my god, it'll create a hole. Okay. All right, we learn. Let's see. Maybe it's supposed to be like, yeah. After a few minutes, I guys. I expected as much from the. Vigorously rubbing. I think they are saying do this and then how. Oh, hey, it's actually getting through, yeah. No shit. And then. Once we get through, then we use a knife to cut through the rest of the way. I just can't wait to have metal shards in my tomato. Tomatoes. Yeah. Well, it, it made it through. Well, shit. 
learn something new every day. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Actually, I can fit a knife in there now. <clears throat> Easier to use a spoon the whole way or what? Iron supplement. I'm gonna use a shitty knife. I'm not gonna use a good knife for this. Cut away from me. That's really crazy. <laughs> Uh, absolute classic. Um, trying to... I don't... I don't know about that. Didn't expect that to actually work, right? Rest in peace, this knife. It's not like this knife was doing a whole lot anyways. In life. That was done, dear friend. Fuck Fancer. Maybe the can opener can grab it now or something. I don't know. Probably faster to drive to the next door and buy a new one. Honestly, the spoon thing was really fast. The, sp the spoon thing was really fast. Oh. Okay, it cut little pieces. Oh my gosh. It's cutting like every... I don't even know. I think at this point I can probably just like scoop it up. Let's see if we can... Oh, Jesus. Yay, shredded metal. And then with scooping it up, now the can opener should be able to reach those parts. God damn, dude. Fucking A. Not the... Not what I thought was going to be our problem today. There we go. A little bit. Okay. Just need to cut that little bit in between. Uh, scoop this as well. Okay. Now clamp. Clamp and cut. I said clamp and cut. I'm spooning through the rest of the way. Right, that's enough. We got it open enough. Did I cut myself? No, hopefully not. I got pliers. I'm gonna ply this shit open. <laughs> it's a freaking fart. Plier boys. There's blood everywhere. Nope, it's tomato sauce. Pliers. Hello. You low? Needle nosers? Ne All right. <laughs> oh my god. Link so I can find established. Right now. Oh. Mic on. Big honking ass plier things. There we go. This is all sanitary, I promise. This is how it goes. There you go. Okay, that should be enough to get our tomatoes out. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Oh, that's not the bowl. This is the bowl. Almost poured uh, poured this into our meatball bowl. They're out. They're out, baby. Uh, that's not. It's not going in the trash. Okay. <laughs> Just some kitchen pliers, you know, is what it is. Yeah, don't pour that into the meat. I don't know. How long on bredge? 5.10? I don't remember what time. Um, the damn tomato sauce won't need as much baby. That was done, dear friend. <clears throat> it's bedtime. Yeah, Happy to see what the school. ending sub looks like. Excuse me? No kuwoof. 150 bucks to St. Jude, what? And East 2201, $22 to St. Jude. Thank you, my friends, for the big donies. I appreciate y'all very much. Um, where is, oh, oh, well, whatever. 
Back to the <sighs> actual recipe. Pour one cup of water into can and slash it, slosh it around to get tomato juices. Reserve. Mmm, tomato. One cup. One cup of water. Oh, I'll slosh, baby. You know I'll slosh. Slosh. Don't slosh too hard, though. Last time I sloshed too hard, I woke up middle of the street. Fucking... I don't know where I'm going with this. Nowhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to the oven soon to get the bread out. How's the bread looking? Bread has... Wow. That is tall. Dude, that is tall, risen-ass bread. That's going to be perfect, though, because I want to be able to, you know, shove some meatballs and cheese underneath. Ooh. All right, in a large skillet, over medium heat, heat oil when it's hot, add garlic. I would clean this and do that. I'm just going to do a new new skillet. All right. We're out putting... Um, we're going to add garlic, and it's a lot of cloves. I think it's uh, seven garlic cloves. Do we have that in the rest of this one? I know you guys can't see very well. I'm sorry, but it's... Um, I'm just kind of speed running this while we wait for the bridge. Mm-hmm. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And... What comes after six? Mr. Garlic head it is seven. Learning to count with worst cooking streamer. All right. That one flew across the fucking... <sighs> I'm gonna wash it. It's fine. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that one. It's not a big... There we go. Crush. Crush. Crush all the garlic close. Crush them all. Don't leave any garlic clove uncrushed. Uncrushed, as I say. We'll crush ya. And all the foil ya. Alright, let's get all the skins off these garlic. That one is not crushed. What have you done? You didn't crush the garlic. Ah, you crushed it. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, clove. Beautiful. This one's not crushed either. What have you done? All right. All right. And this one? How did there get to be like ten cloves of garlic now? Uh, let's see. Three. This one's crushed. Not, although not very well. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Four. We're counting again. Five. Uh, crush it more. Crush it. Six. Yeah, I think one of these more than one of these cloves was a m m m m m m multi clove clove m m m m monster clove mm hmm all right okay seven cloves of garlic are they chopped up we chop in peeled and slivered oh sliver lengthwise huh sliver just little slivers of garlic yeah And along. That's why I reckon a sliver is. Have you ever been slivered on a Friday night? It's really quite nothing better. Mm, okay, you just cut your finger. I didn't, I didn't. I know everybody's waiting like, oh, Stripper's gonna cut his finger off. I can't wait. I'm gonna clip it, send it all the fails. Compilation brother videos. Sat. Can't wait. I'm 
slivering. Or couldn't have just been chopped or minced. I'm more comfortable doing that, honestly. And now we're slivering. <coughs> That's slivered. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to brown this garlic, and then I think we dump in uh, a tomato. Sliverinos. Isn't this so exciting watching streamers back? Instead of what's actually happening? I mean, you get to watch the bread at least. So you guys, uh... I know I can't read you right now, but let me know if anything goes wrong with bread. <laughs> <laughs> the bread is on fire. The bread has an insatiable lust for blood and human flesh. All right. Here goes all our garlic into the pan. The garlic, I mean the bread has started a cult. <clears throat> Devour humanity and all that it stands for. Um, a large skillet, keep the oil. When it is hot, add garlic. When it is hot. All right. You're not hot enough yet, skillet. Oil. Let's go. Uh, quarter cup extra virgin olive oil. Quarter cup. Where are my cups? There it is. Perfect. Quarter cup. I'll come do this over here so you guys can see. See my utter spillage. There you go. You all know me. Never ask, is that too much oil? Only ask. How much more oil do I add? All right. That's fine. That's a lot of oil. Damn, that's a lot of oil. <laughs> you sure about that? That's a quarter cup. I'm gonna be done with those now. Heat the oil. How's it go? Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, hold off on heating the oil. Timer is going off. I'm gonna check. I'm checking on the bridge. What do you think, bridge viewers? Ooh, it smells good. Hmm. If I take a look, is that gonna dry it all out? Is it like one of them freaking super? Um. Hmm. Put camera in oven. Leave it closed. Yeah, I don't think it's ready yet. They are. They are fat. Yeah, you really should not open it. Okay. All right. Let me, um, hmm. Man. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it's not, it's not browned on top or anything yet. You see, hold on, let me just make sure this isn't getting hot. No, it's not. Hello? See the bridge, please? Please focus on the bridge. Um... I want to see. I want to see. It's not done yet. I don't want it to burn. What do I do? Two more minutes? <sighs> How long has the bread been baking? About 22 minutes. I think it was supposed to be 25. I wanted to make sure that we didn't, uh, you know, overdo it. So I'd rather check before things get out of hand. Okay. Uh, in any case. Two minutes going. We're gonna sizzle some garlic. All right, let's sizzle some garlic. Right. Medium heat. Heat the oil. When the oil is hot, add the garlic. As soon as garlic is sizzling, do not let it brown. Add the tomatoes and then the reserved tomato water. Add whole chili or red pepper flakes. Oregano if using and salt stir. I'm gonna check for basil outside. Basil. We haven't got any basil leaves on there. That's a that's a leafless, it's a leafless basil plant right there. So 
Um, instead, the option is to use oregano. So we'll do oregano. And salt. So we get salt. Crushed red pepper leaves. It says, yeah, red pepper flakes, yeah. And there's our oregano. So many spices in here. There's Italian seasoning. Organic. Black peppercorns, jalapeno salt. We got so much stuff here. And we got a whole nother on this end. The, uh, what is this? I think this is oregano. It's in Greek though. Oh, there's a timer. Timer. Check on that bread. Let's see. Bridge. Hmm. Hmm. Looking for browning on the top. I don't think. God, you really cannot see anything, huh? I've blocked the light. Jeez, it's awful. Also, the lights behind it don't help. So it's just kind of blowing it out. Okay, the, the tips are browned, but I think it could use another minute or two. Maybe another minute. What do you guys think? If you can tell at all by look, looking at it. Crotch reflection A. Ready? You wish the oven lights weren't ye that yellow? Yeah. If they were white, you could tell like yellow colors. I see, I get what they're saying. Is it even? Little tips, like the, the highest points, the little peaks of bread in the middle are brown. So I think it's close, if not soon. Seems brown enough to you. Um, they can stay up to 40 to 50 minutes total? The, the bread nips, yeah. Should be all brown on top. Yeah, that's the oven. It's, <laughs> it's not, not easy to see. Um, this one's trying to like this stuff. I think, a, I think a little bit more. Yeah. I think another two minutes, honestly. Another two minutes or so. Let it go for longer than you think the color adds flavor. Okay. Well, black is... Oh, no, black is the lack of color. <laughs> White is the one that's all the colors added, so I can't make that joke. You give it five. Well, I'm gonna give it two, and if we, uh, we'll keep checking it, and maybe we will need to need it after that. Oil is hot, I believe. I'm glad I remembered that we had this frickin' over here. So there goes the garlic. Right, right. Oh yeah, oregano. This spice, I believe, is oregano. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Baby, how do you say oregano in Greek? Okay, cool, I found it. <laughs> pi, pi, yani? Pi, yani? Oh, ri. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. That's it. Oh, ri, gani, yeah, like oregano. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, my goodness. That's browned. All right, add the... Add the water or add the tomatoes. Hold on, hold on. Uh, as soon as the garlic is sitting, sizzling, add the tomatoes, then reserve tomato water. Glorp. Glorious. That's a lot for this pan. Little concerned. I'm a little concerned. We're gonna add the reserved water. That's quite a bit for this pan. It's gonna fit though. It's gonna fit, Prob probably. <laughs> oh, it didn't even. I didn't. I didn't crush. I didn't crush the tomatoes with my hands. What will I do? It's gonna be a whole tomato. It's gonna be a whole heckin' tomato thing. 
Um, here, I'm just going to take a wooden spoon and I'm going to smush them. I'm going to smush them up good. We're going to smush them. Smush them. And now the, the, uh, the alarm's going off for the... Uh, hey, they were at least peeled, okay? They weren't whole. They're going to... They're going to... They're going to do their thing. You know, I'm going to move this. Alarm's going off. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Somebody said like five minutes. It's fine. This is a two minute. Two minute warning. Two minutes. Two minutes. This will reduce. Right. It's going to reduce. I also need to add oregano and salt. Shut up. They squish. Yeah, they'll soften up. Yeah. Um, oregano to taste. I'm just going to. This is where, this isn't baking, this is, this is, we can eye it. Yeah, that's good, that's good. And then we'll add some salt. This we can also taste as we go. Crushed red pepper flakes for some spice. I do like that. Okay. <clears throat> Check on bridge. Bridge. Auto shutdown initiated. Bridge, what are you saying, lady? Why is everything happening all at once? That's how you design the day, Lobos. Well, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, the brownness has now extended to basically all the pe all the detailed parts of the bread, but this one on the left like doesn't really have a lot of brown on it. I feel like maybe another two minutes. In. Two minutes. Two minutes on the bridge. Take them out. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I put, uh, did I put salt in here? I don't think I did put salt in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, this pan is just like, oh, it's barely containing all of this. Um, it's too stressful, you'll stick to meals for one. <laughs> uh, can you imagine doing this for every meal? Yeah, probably. And other people's meals, if you were a chef. Need more ice. And then we this, um, this basil sprig. We're not doing the basil. No wilties. Simmer sauce until thickened and oil on surface is a deep orange. Okay. If using oregano taste sauce after 10 minutes of simmering, adding more salt and oregano as needed. Okay, okay, so that's pretty much it. So this is just gonna simmer now. It's gonna reduce. It is definitely simmering, it's bubbly. We're stirring. Did I put salt? Did I put salt is the question. I'm smushing these tomatoes. Oh my God, it's now my beautifully washed grill top. Well, what is cleanliness without dirtiness? Just trying to still crush some of these and stir up a little bit. All right, let that simmer. That simmer is on medium heat. Are the beeps coming from the stream? Yes, I'm sorry. I don't know how to even, I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it off. So it stops doing that. Auto shutdown canceled. Powering off. There. Okay. That was There's the alarm for the bridge. Let's check bridge. I just wanted to say <clears> good luck. <throat> We're all counting on you. Ooh, the bridge. Hmm. Oh man, I really want to open it. I really want to open it, man. I'm really curious. I don't know how brown it is. Kinda looks brown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it really quickly. Oh, that looks pretty good. I think, it, I think it's good. It's like a golden brown. It's like a golden brown. What do you guys think? You think it's good? It's golden brown. I could, I could show you guys. Take a moot. Take it out. Yeah. Pull, pull. Right here we go. We're gonna pull. While this is still simmering. 
And you know what? While it's simmering, I'm going to put the meatballs in here. Oh, God, that's not going to fit, is it? Here we go. Here we go. Um, I probably need both. Oh, I got both. Here we go. Bredge. Oh. Oof. Oh. Can you see? Can you see? I'm going to put it on the stove. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like the, the tips of it, some of the tips of it, were just about to start burning. Let me turn off the oven. Let me bring you guys over. We're going to investigate the bread. Assemble. Bridge pet pet. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm going to raise you guys. Nope, that's lower. I'll bring you over here. Okay. Finally, you have some... Frickin you can actually see something again. See that bridge? The bottom is flowery for sure, but uh, I don't know if that's the worst thing. We got sauce simmering. Oops. How does the bridge look to you guys? The stone's probably gonna... It's, um... Yeesh. It's hard. It's hard on the outside. I don't know about the inside. Hopefully it's soft on the inside. Um, <clears throat> looks perfect. I hope so too. It's gonna be crispy. Might be a little bit tough to bite. Uh, that's a hard loaf. Put the stone back in the oven and shut the oven off. Okay. All right, let me move bread in. We'll do a, we'll do a cut test soon enough as it cools a bit. Let me, um, I'm gonna I'm a transfer. Can I, is this parchment going to fall apart? And I'm going to drop the bread everywhere. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm just going to grab him with the, the mitts. Where did my mitts go? Where did my mitties? Where are my mitters? You may, I, did, I did this and then... And then the mitts, there they are, by the computer. Stir sauce. The yeah, sauce is a, uh... okay, just uh, transferring over here. Bread to go over here. The bottom is flowery. I mean, the ciabatta is a flowery one, so it's not too bad. And then we're gonna put the, uh... okay. I'm gonna put some of these meatballs in here. Plop, 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 right. Let them kind of reheat slash cook if they didn't get cooked before. That's good. We're gonna stir this. Ooh. Okay. Let those meatballs like absorb this tomato sauce as it thickens, which it is. The tomato is reducing. You know, can you guys even see? My poor, my poor heckin' stove top. I cleaned. You guys can still hear, hear me, right? <laughs> I want to make sure you've been able to he hear me during all this madness. So I turned my headset off, but not the microphone. I'm going to open the oven first. Yeah, you can? Good. Should have said no. That would have got me. Would have got me. I'm going to put the pizza stone back in the oven, let it all cool down. Right. Very good, very good. Okay, okay. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. I know the meatball tasted pretty good on its own. If uh, a little bit oily, you know. <laughs> but with the sauce, with um, well, this is not like evenly distributed. Oh, I didn't taste the sauce. Let me let me taste the sauce. It's not very thick right now, but I don't want to burn. Mmm. I taste pretty good. Tastes pretty dang good. 
I do want it to thicken, though. I didn't put any extra water or oil in this. All right? Although, I guess the oil would thicken it more. <clears throat> Vomits everywhere. Excuse me. Put sauce on microphone. You guys want to taste it? All right, there you go. Death chip. Uh. Yeah, did you lick, lick your headphones? Yeah, tastes good. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in here. And a little bit more oregano. And actually a little bit more crushed red pepper. That could definitely be a lot spicier. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good, good, good. Get some more Reggie. A bit more Reggie in there. Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay. Okay. Woo. Woo. Mm-hmm. Some storage. Some storage. Oh. And spill it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's just to uh, stoke the flames below. It's a gas, so you don't need Whatever. All right. The balls are submerged nicely. Let's take a look at the bread here. Kindling the flame. All right, All right Bridge. I'm, gonna, I'm about to cut a loaf. You guys ready? I'm excited. All right, Leonard. All right, Leonard. Nice and warm. Let me get a cutting board. <clears throat> you ever had that really hard Greek bread? I don't think so. It's not that flowery on top. It's real flowery on the bottom. But look at the bottom. No soggy bottom. It sounds, ooh. It sounds nice and hollow. Okay, here we go. You ready? I think it's good. I think it's good. We've got the bread knife. Let's see if I'm gonna do like a meatball sub. Yeah, I might do it like half. Or I could do it a long way. And then just kind of like hollow out the center a bit. Put meatballs and uh and cheese. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's crispy. Oh, that's crispy. That is crispy. It's steamy. It's so steamy. Ooh. Ooh. It's moist. It's moist. It's spongy. Flexible. And see, then I just want to like cut into here. Mmm. It smells good. It smells good. No bubbling. Ooh. What do you guys think? What do you guys, what do you guys think of this bread? I have to taste it. I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking I wanna I wanna taste of the bread just by itself. I'll make I'll use this one and turn it into my Oh that's some good bread. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good bread. Bread is good. Sauce is here. I think the sauce needs to cool a bit before we can really get it to super thicken up. I'm spilling sauce everywhere. I'm um, do a little bit more tomato crushing. You know, there were a couple of oopsies today, but um, I think overall, man, the bread's really good. Bread's really good. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Leonard, Leonard did me proud. Well, Leonard didn't do me, but this is supposed to be like 15 minutes like simmering. 
And I think we're ooh, about there. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go show this to to Bloody Roll Bear Bear. Wanna check out this bread? Yeah, yeah. It, it's wrapping up. It's wrapping up. I'm about to make the sandwiches. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> me too. Me too. I'm excited. All right. Do -do 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 -do. Could you hear me the whole way? Scatter. No, don't scatter. <sighs> I, I showed her the bread. You love bread? Me too. Nice, nice. I wasn't sure of the, the distance on this. I think we're going to let this cool. Um, cool down a bit. I really would like it to to thicken. Any any thicken tips? Should I put gelatin in it? I'm just kidding. I'm not putting gelatin in it. Oh, man. I didn't get any on the, uh, the backsplash until just now. Now it's all backsplashed. Ooh. Tomato paste. Uh, yeah, it'll thicken as it cools, I guess. Corn starch to thicken without changing taste. Oh, yeah, cheese. So we actually have, uh, we've got deli cut mozzarella. Deli cut mozzarella. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'll probably line the bottom of a bridge with uh, mozzarella and then put the meatballs on it so it melts. I know you normally put the, the cheese on top, right? But, hmm. At this point, I just want this to thicken, to thicken up. Get thick, brother. I would like you to thicken. And then we got freaking meatball meat for days. I have bare hands. Oh shit. Oh, the car, <laughs> the can. <laughs> yeah, the can was a surprise, but we learned. We learned how to open a, a can with a spoon. And uh, yeah, it was very effective. I'm thinking we cut just like that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this. I'm just gonna go straight down. The middies. That's kind of hard to cut, mate. It's a little hard. Kind of scared cutting it this way with my fingies. Give it a bit of a hinge. Hmm. That's a lot of bread for a sandwich. So now we'll just like plop in some meatballs and some cheese and then close her back up. Upside down cut. Always cut with the flat side down. The flat side down. Other side flat cut. The flat side is down. Cut what? The flat side of what? <laughs> oh shit. Skin side up. You mean like this? You mean like this? No! I need a hinge, brother. I need a hinge. And how am I going to hinge if I cut right through its spine? Cut side down. That ain't much of a hinge. It's a hinge! Have you ever seen a door hinge? This is bigger than a door hinge. And a door is much bigger than a piece of bread. I wasn't trying to cut it in half. No, gotta start over. Shit. Door hinge does rhyme, rhyme, rhyme with orange, yeah. Four inch orange door hinge. Mm -hmm. Hinge ain't doing shit for them balls. Well, it's better that they can only come out one side than both sides. I-M-O. And this will this will press in. And then the balls will just... And then boom. This is This is what I had envisioned the whole time, so... I don't know. Make fun of my dreams or uh, whatever. 
But um, you know what? I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna pull this over. And I'm gonna try and do this. It's not super thickened yet, but let's do this. Ball, please. Oh, the ball opened up. Oh, I spilled. <laughs> Guys, don't worry, don't worry. We're just gonna do this and then I'm gonna escape. I'm gonna escape, I'm gonna escape now, I'm gonna escape now. Don't worry, I didn't pour it all over the bread. Okay, so this one's, this one will be mine, over here. Ruined it! Ruined it! Where did, where did, my, where did I put the cheese? Here it is. All right, cheese, get this can out of here. Quickly, quickly now. Okay, I'm gonna cut this cheese like in half. I'm just gonna fold it to get a little halfy, and then I want this like yeah. Here we go. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. None of this. I probably needs one more ball. Let me get one more ball. I'm gonna bring it from downtown. A uh, smaller ball. All right. It's definitely gonna drip all over the floor as I do this. No, it's not, because I put my hand there. Genius. A genius move. There we go. Okay. And then we put cheese. Like that. Mmm. There we have it. There we have it. Ciabatta. That was chancellor done, dear friend. friend. I don't know why. I just want to say good luck. We're all counting on you. But uh, more sauce. Yeah, probably more sauce, to be honest. Are you coming up with that now? I'm going to put this on a plate. I'm going to deliver it so that we can stop starving today. Okay. We'll stop starving. It's a lot of bread. Bridge. Okay. Mmm. Ah. Let me take a picture real quick because mine's going to look like poop. It's fucking nasty, not gonna lie. Nasty as in good, right? So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look great, but it's gonna taste amazing, I hope. All right, I'll be right back. Here you go. See what you think. See what you think. I hope it's good. There's not a whole lot of sauce because it's still kind of runny because it's hot, but. I don't know how you're going to eat it. <laughs> a... Didn't think about that part. All right, this pour. You know what? This, uh, this piece right here is just good for. I'm just going to dip it. Mmm. Mmm. Could you hear that crunch? Camera. Chatter said tasty and Lobos reads nasty. Oh. Mm-hmm. The texture, dude, the outside, like, I was worried because it was hard. But it's like, it's so crunchy. It's like as you bite into it, just mm, crumpsh. And then the inside, you can see, right? It's like spongy. It's good, it's spongy. Nice softness. And then, uh, let's see the sauce. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tomato-y. Mm-hmm. Enough salt. Ooh, a little spicy. Mm. There's a crushed red pepper flakes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I used an entire roll of paper towels today. It needs me to eat food soon. Ah. Oh yeah, it is their food time, huh? Well, they're getting a meatball sub, so hope they like it. Sauce in my beard, that's how it's so good. Oh, she says it's so good! Good! Oh my god. Slice that piece horizontally. Add meatballs. Horizontally. Yeah. Like this. Just do it. Oops. <laughs> with the back of the knife. Yeah. That's what you meant. Oh, cut with the flat 
The flat end of the knife. Oh. There's a little, like, meatball pocket here. I'm still cutting this way. Deal with it, chat. I want to hinge. I'll just have a small one. We'll eat it together. Oh, God. The bottom is, like, soaked. <laughs> it's fine. It's probably way too much food uh, doing the full, the full thing, you know? Um... Br brother, I never learned how to cook bread. How, how to learn how to cut bread. Mm. The only bread I've ever had in my life is pre-sliced. That's not true. That's not true. We, we, we buy ciabatta, but... We bought ciabatta. But it also was, like, already... I'm gonna try and fit two in here. Not spill the rest over it. Let's try this. Give me a cheese, give me a cheese. I don't know if I want to put a whole slice of cheese on this one. This is a big slice. Let me do this. All right, I'll put the rest back in there. I'll try and smush, smush. Oh, it bleeds everywhere, I love it. Nova, I need this chair, I'm sorry. Sorry, girl, I gotta borrow this chair. I'm gonna eat for the people. I'm sorry that you cannot taste this chat. It's spicy, I love it. I, I mean, we like spicy in this house, like, but not too spicy. Um, I, I do like qu quite spicy. Ooh, I love the hinge. Yeah, cutting bread is the last thing I care about when it comes to making a good bread. <sighs> so I'm just gonna eat it. Who cares what it looks like? Flying over there right now. Perfect. Parts all look pretty great at the very least. All right, let's see here. Ah, nope. Almost took a bite and you couldn't even see it. Let's go. Swords in the background. Didn't cut the bread with the sword. Hmm. Um. This was my first bread. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I've never had bread before today. Yeah. Emotional music. It's just auto playing. I can't even hear anymore. Um. Let's see if y'all can hear me. If I do this, can you hear me? Hopefully. So this is probably a little bit too much bread, bread for a sub, but hey, it tastes real good. are a little bit um, soft. We know why. No one else has to, though. Just a texture issue, I think, really. Mm -hmm. What I do? Oh, nothing. Got green around your mouth. Oh shit. What's it? The food isn't even green. Okay. The bread is amazing. I'm so happy with the bread. And that was the main thing I was worried about. Mmm. Got the bread. Oh. Okay, so, after everything we did,
After all the breads we saw, all the ciabatta bread videos we watched earlier, I didn't taste them, but I think this bread's better. It rose so high, it rose to the occasion. It was elevated. And people are like, yeah, ciabatta is usually flatter, but it's like this shit rose. They eat and we eat. Nom nom nom. Pet Nova to Angie. She's not Angie. She always runs away from her food early. And then we have to make sure Leo doesn't eat her food. Whole family is eating. Mm hmm. They're battle cats. Yeah, they're used to the swords. In fact, they train with them sometimes. Leo's tail for a tail weapon. No, no. He never had a tail. Japanese bobcat mix. Tailless. The plant pot is in the center. You mean within the little bucket thing? Cat PvP. Bread's are losing it. Is Leo a crazy orange cat? Um, he's crazy cuddly. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Oh man. We did it. Good gracious, four and a half hours making that bread. Really good bread. Meatball's a little fucked up, but it's fine. Sauce a little fucked up, but it's fine. 
Bloody is attached to the ceiling eating her bread. Yep. Now she's up there. Mmm. How do you want to discover bread? It takes so long. I mean, the most basic of bread, like flour, salt, and water. I don't know. I don't know. Yum. Hold on. Powering on. Mic on. <laughs> Powering on, mic on. All right. GG, my friends, this is where we say goodbye. I appreciate you spending all your time here today on the stream. Thanks everyone who subbed and donated and uh, all that. I'm sorry if I didn't, uh, if I didn't catch your message, but we'll be back tomorrow to our usual stream and um, we'll play some video games, yeah? Go get yourself a tasty dinner and um, we'll see you next time. Yeah? Good night, friends. See you later. <laughs>